<laughs> is that is that the actual sound effect of the spell? Yes. That I, oh, I, you know what? Yes. Yes. Logo, yes. Yippee, yeah. And then yippee. explosion. You have to get a party it with, popper. Like, the... It's kind of like <laughs> it's kind of like the Milo version of Yippee Kaye from like uh, Die Hard. But like with the Doppler effect, so it's like. <laughs> Oh no! See, no, no. Here's the thing, Monty. If if you would allow me to forego all co other extra components or somatic movements and just make and just tell me, just scream yippee into the mic in a high pitched shrill as a replacement, I'll do it. Don't tell me with a good time. time. What would be just, more powerful, a handful of bat guano or one yippee with enthusiasm? I mean, Rabbit during Gobtober, his verbal components were just swearing very yeah. loud. So. <laughs> I love Rabbit so much, man. Yeah. Oh, my lord. Hi, guys. We're here. It's us. Welcome. I pulled an all-nighter to prep for the session today, and also and because I, it's cold. So. And then I pestered her for an hour. That was fine. <laughs> I needed a break. My hand was hurting, so it was honestly oh. kind of a good thing. I was like, you know okay. what? It's probably good. My, my Monty, why? It's because the, the temperature has plummeted to negative 30 <laughs> Celsius, and so my body is like, ah, time to hibernate. And it's just like, yeah. no, we're not. We don't do that. That's not time what we do. Time for the Odin sleep. <laughs> Two whole oh. weeks in a row we're here with the Unexpectables. I know. Yeah, uh, but thankfully what's... this time I don't have to share a mic with Bosco. Yeah. Whoa. Positive, you're not near Bosco. Negative, you can't punch Bosco. Oh, yes. you've got a very good point. Yeah. Oh, I should One. fly back. Don't. We'll get him next time. Right now. Just right now. <laughs> just hang we'll up on the, the phone and get in an airplane. <laughs> While we're buying our plane tickets, uh, let's go around the horn and introduce ourselves, starting with Gaijin Goomba. Uh -huh. Where idea? What are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. is Central Time. Um, so, um, Tuesday was crazy. Um, my new PC got funded, which is insane. Oh, hey. nice. Um, when do I get to build it? Uh, that's, that's a, a good question. That's a good question, <laughs> Mega Man, because Aki needs one too. Except she needs it worse. Um, no. So uh, we've been doing a little bit of Lethal Company. That was fun. Um, I need to do more Quake Two. So here's the thing: we had the Quake Two night. Like, very few people showed up. It made like zero dollars, but it was so much goddamn fun to do. Um, I also found out that there's like four or five extra campaigns that I've never played in my life that's attached to the remake and it's really good. There's like 12 new weapons. So it's like one of my old, old, old favorite games from back in the day. And uh, yeah, no, I, I need to stream that and more multiplayer because, oh. Um, aside from that, I am announcing something really, really big in a video coming up, hopefully either this weekend or early, early next week. Um, I, I made some cryptic tweets the other night. I just want people to know that I, I am not quitting and I have nothing bad to say about the Matt Pat. Uh, he's still a good dude. We're going to go hang out and do fun things uh, involving explosions soon. So it's going to be a good time. Um, Can't believe you're going to explode Matt Pat. Oh, uh, yeah. No. Oh, Jesus. Um, Unexpectables exclusive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm working on that project. Y'all, everyone here knows what, what it is. Um, but yeah, just give me a little bit of time. I'll get that done. And, um, yeah, I, I, I wish I could say more. I really do. I just have a lot going on and I, I can't talk about it yet. I can't believe after all this time, Matt Pat has discovered the secret to nuclear fission. I mean... Don't doubt the man. He's, he's crazy. Fair enough. Fair he enough. does math, and people who do math are capable of war crimes. He's a wizard, Brain. man. Brain it's, hurry. Hurry. <laughs> it's true. Speaking of math, uh, Mark Allen Jr., where can he find you, and what are you up to? Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Blue Sky at Mark Allen Jr. here on Twitch at Aeon Protect Gaming. Follow my fat pirate cat bunny on Instagram at chonk for life and I'm on TikTok now. I posted a couple of TikToks over the weekend. Uh, Mark Allen Jr. VA, check it out. Um, I just got done with Anime Los Angeles. Uh, it was a wonderful experience uh, until I caught COVID. Uh, that part sucked. Um, 
And what sucks more about that is I will probably not be working for the next two weeks. So I'm going to do something uh, I have not done in over a decade. Um, probably tomorrow, I'm going to be opening up music commissions. Um, oh, my God. This is something that oh. I'm going to take very slowly and very carefully at first because it's been a long time since I've done that. And the last time I did that, a lot of people abused the system. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, uh, there will be notes on Twitter and Blue Sky probably tomorrow. Like I said, um, there will be a lot of rules, a lot of things I'm not going to do. For instance, I will not do a remix of a song you don't have the rights to. Um, that's just not something I'm going to take money for. So just putting that out there right now. Um, but that's going to be something that I will start being doing. And uh, if you want that, please uh, look forward to that. Um, this can be songs for like your own in-house games and stuff. Uh, I've been doing a lot of music over the last year, so my skills are sharp and I'm, I'm ready to do it. Uh, also, uh, you might remember a few months ago, I teased for a very long time that something big was on the horizon. Well, uh, that big thing was announced just uh, Monday. Um, I got to co-direct uh, the Kenichi The Mightiest Disciple OVAs. English Ooh. dub after Ew. 15 years uh, we brought the cast back to redub uh, the bits that weren't finished um, it's my first like actual director credit I got to share duties with my dear friend Marissa Lenti um, it was an absolute blast getting to work with people uh, like Jesse James Greeley um, uh, Chris uh, Sabat uh, Carrie Savage like a bunch of absolute legends in anime dubbing and it, it was a phenomenal time um our friends over at discotech media will have more information down the line when you can actually get that but uh i'm happy to finally be able to announce it um that was like a three-month period of my life and it was a stressful time but because we wanted it to be good so uh if you're fans of classic kenichi the mightiest disciple uh, please, please, please look forward to uh, when that comes out, hopefully sometime in the near future. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. I've got a lot of announcements to catch up on. I'm not going to do them all here. So keep an eye on Twitter and uh, Blue Sky for that. Uh, they will be coming over the next couple of days because I'm going to have a lot of time on my hands. That's it for me. Right on. Up next, we've got Zito. Where can they find you? What are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Zito, where uh, if the word clown job is in your vernacular for the past week, I apologize for that. But actually, I don't, because I've been playing Mutants and Masterminds uh, Homecoming. The devs, uh, there's a private server uh, for the game that has ended in like 2011, started in 2004. Uh, the, uh, the private server actually got the blessing from the devs to actually keep making content for it and they gave them the source code for the game so oh, that's super nice yeah that that's actually in fucking incredible that now basically uh uh mutant not mutant to match my sorry that's the tabletop uh city of heroes and city of villains homecoming uh the private server now literally like has the keys to the city and now can actually like has the okay to like even make more content if they want to because the original devs can't make money off this product anymore. So they're like, man, fuck it. We're not doing anything with this. So I've been playing it nonstop since uh, I've been playing it Monday and Tuesday. And it actually has gotten me very itching to want to take all my little freaks that I have created and possibly run a one shot of Mutants and Masterminds with my friends who have been playing with me. Uh, so maybe stay tuned on that. Fake Mon stuff is still in, uh, still in process. Uh, I'll be posting on Patreon all the, uh, little dudes I've made so far with their meta for free on the Patreon. Uh, and on top of that, uh, more indie games and carts will be on Sunday. So same as it ever was. I'm not making any money off these Mutants and Masterminds streams like Gaijin, uh, it has for his uh shoot bang but god damn it i i am experiencing fun in 2024 and it's 20 years after the fact that i don't have a subscription fee for it anymore it's so, so rare <laughs> dude it's so rare dude you gotta you gotta get in on this make a superhero i don't give a i i used problem. to i used to play the shit out of that game i had a character called mobile hospital and it was like captain ion or something like that 
dude, it's time. Jo join the freak squad with clown job. Oh. You have dude, come on. That's me. Excellent. Uh, up next we've got Monty Glue. Where can Hi. we find you? What are you up to? Oh my gosh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. You can find me at Blue Sky at Monty Glue and YouTube on Monty Glue. Um, tomorrow should hopefully be some Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Uh, the party had a... I had three boss fights this past week, guys. I had a boss fight for, for Unexpectables. I had a boss fight for, for Dungeon of the Mad Mage and a boss fight for Tomb of Annihilation. It was a boss week. It was a boss week. So um, what we take from that is that you're a really mean DM. Yeah, sure. What are you, fucking YouTube <laughs> comments? Thanks, Mark. Hey. <laughs> that is an ultimate uh, insult. <laughs> um, I will say this. Uh, tomorrow is actually my friend Darcy's birthday, so I actually won't be streaming. Or not tomorrow, sorry. Uh, Friday. It's Darcy's birthday on Friday, and unfortunately I won't be able to stream Final Fantasy that day because it, she was born, and if I don't go to her birthday, she'll bully me forever. So uh, we're going to get hot pot and stuff like that. So unfortunately, there won't be a stream on Friday, uh, but there might be a makeup stream throughout the week. But hopefully, unless something sudden happens, uh, we should have Dungeon of Mad Mage tomorrow. Again, you can catch all my VODs on YouTube. I actually just uploaded uh, me playing Lethal Company with Arkolf, Bosco, and Shay. It's really funny. I get really scared a lot, probably too much, but I'm a coward, so whatever. Uh, beyond that, uh, yeah, jazz hands. Thank you so much. Right on. Next, we've got Edward Bosco. Where can they find you? What are you up to? Uh, you can find me at Ed Bosco VA on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. I was also at ALA. So thank you to everybody who came out. And by the way, thank you to all the folks who bought the new Remy prints. I was not expecting so many Unexpectables fans. And you guys are awesome. And thank you for coming out and showing love to the shows. That being said, you can find me on Tuesdays doing Halo Night. We're going through Lasso Halo 4. It's been a journey, although we crushed the last level. I'm going to stand by that. We blazed through it. It was very good. Thursday, throwback Thursday, we're going to figure out what we're doing tomorrow. It's going to depend on how in isolation I am because I was hanging around Mark. So <laughs> we got to be safe. Friday, back to wrestling. Saturday, might be finishing up Yakuza Like a Dragon. I'll let Connor tell you about that. And then no mm. Baldur's Gate because they're back to Gateway. So we'll see you in another week. On Monday, we will be doing some D&D with Zan and Heartsey and Evie and a bunch of other cool cats. Come check it out on twitch.tv slash Grim. Sunday is still football. Leave me alone. It's the Lord's Day to Rest and my day to rest. That's me. Right on. Uh, I suppose all that leaves is me, and they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, as well as Thursdays. Uh, where I'm playing uh, God of War 2018 with Therapod Art. Um, as well, uh, this upcoming Friday will be a little bit different because it is my birthday. Birthday! Happy birthday, birthday Connor! Happy birthday! Uh, the, the dust that made up what I once was is going to be turning one year old. Uh... <laughs> Wait, you, you have the same birthday as my friend Darcy? Why are so many friends with... So many January babies, dude, man. What the hell? Birthday. It, it's a doodly do. Uh, yes, but I'm I'm going out to a brewery to have dinner with my family and have a few brewskis for my own. It's going to be very fun. Uh, and when I get back from that, I'm going to do a birthday stream, and then we're just going to have a grand old time, I think. Um, as well, uh, Saturday. Uh, this coming Saturday on... Twitch.tv slash The Unexpectables. Gateway makes its uh, grand return. Uh, we're finally getting back into the post-apocalyptic world of St. Louis in the Fallout setting. Uh, and before that, we may be wrapping up. Yakuza Thank God. Like Thank God Gateway's coming back. I was running out of material. I, I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Give you more things to copy off of. Uh... <laughs> And Sunday, uh, we're playing Deus Ex Mankind Divided. A lot of fun. Uh -huh. um, also, check out my DMs Guild. I'm currently writing the Photomancer's spellbook. Uh, there's some very fun, very interesting spells that I've been making for the uh, light element. 
Uh, hope you enjoy them when it inevitably comes out. Uh, in the meantime, all of my uh, current homebrew is available on my DMs Guild. Uh, and I believe that is it for me. Um, this episode was brought to you in part by Die Hard Dice. Can I tell a wonderful story about my Die Hard Dice, Connor? Absolutely. I recently uh, have uh, gone to my local uh, gaming function, as it were, mm. uh, to play some tabletop games. Not D&D, but specifically uh, like Warhammer and, and other war games. And you, you want to know something great? You feel like an absolute Chad when you are the person who shows up with the dice tray. Like I've never felt more powerful than showing up at the at the game store and playing at a table, and I'm the one with the dice tray. Like it brings such convenience, especially when you're rolling. I, I learned really quick when you play Warhammer, you're rolling a lot of dice and conquest. <laughs> you are rolling a lot of dice, and my God, is it nice to have a diehard dice dice tray? Like. Legitimately, I know we're sponsored by them, but legitimately, I was rolling like 15 dice, and I could roll them all in my dice tray. I could take out the ones where I didn't hit. And the best part is I could pack it in my backpack, because they flatten. They're, mag they're magnetized. So I literally just flattened it and slipped it into my backpack, took it out, put it together, and then placed it on the table. It's great. It's really convenient. The dice are amazing, too. Don't get me wrong. But, man... Having you once, I can't go back to not having a dice tray like this because it's just so nice. But yeah, also, sorry to, to tag on to that. I did run a DD &D panel at Anime Los Angeles, and both Ooh. Edward Bosco and our good friend Austin Lee Matthews rolled some diehard dice in a diehard dice tray what? in front of a live studio audience. What? They're so hey, good to pack, man. They're so good to take to places, they really are. Anyway, continue. Indeed. Use Maybe the code. One days, <laughs> Maybe one of these days you'll see us at a convention. Yeah, Close. I finally rolled some Die Hard Dice. It was fun. Uh, yes. Use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your purchase when you shop at dieharddice.com. Um, also, check out our merch store. We've got all sorts of fun designs. We're going to have some new ones in the new year as well. Maybe some gateway-themed ones. Ooh. That would be very apropos. Um, uh, other than that, uh, we've got some people to thank for their generous business subs because we couldn't do this week in and out without you. Have, you have eight minutes. Uh, Jarbringer, thank you for the brand new sub. Therapod Art, thank you for the 46 months. Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the 46 months as well. Harmless NPC, thank you for the 46 months. Sammy Grayson, thank you for the 20 bits. Mega Waffles, thank you for the 10 months. Miss Tweedums, thank you for the 46 months. Real Meta, thank you for the 31 months. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 21 months. Merrick Cat, thank you for the 38 months. Zanuk Mizana, thank you for the 13 months. Solar Misfit, thank you for the 22 months. Draco Choji, thank you for the 46 months. Edward Bosco, thank you for the 43 months. Snapper Jack, thank you for the 19 months. Aegis Scythe, thank you for the 4 months. K Macamon, thank you for the 39 months. DRK Ganon, thank you for the 43 months. The Drifter of Time and Space, thank you for the 16 months. Z Man Stardust, thank you for the 46 months. Cup of Squid, thank you for the 38 months. Fay Raven, thank you for the 45 months. Real Meta, thank you for the 25,000 bits. Oh my god. Uh. Wow. Thank you so much. Goodness gracious. Kobold with a big gun. Thank you for the 46 months. Phil Lane, thank you for the 95 bits. Scalfar, thank you for the 46 months. The Atom Bomb, thank you for the 27 months. Bot Flamville, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 55 bits. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the 46 months. Ace Bounty, thank you for the 30 months. Orc Barista, thank you for the 1,000 bits. I almost said Orc Batista. <laughs> uh, uh, Mud Martin, thank you for the 43 months. Blue Kios 445, thank you for the 46 months. Revengerist, thank you for the 33 months. Christopher Kelly, thank you for the 10 bits. 
Sayo, 124, thank you for the two months. Seaweed, 201, thank you for the 20,000 bits. Oh my god, thank you. Uh, Robbie Q, thank you for the 41 months. Fury the Gold Dragon, thank you for the 50 bits. Morthrandor, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Shadow Nidhog, thank you for the 18 months. Shinichi Kid, thank you for the 5 bits. And Anne W. Joe, thank you for the 46 months. All right. Well, with that, are you guys ready to jump into a world of wonder like no other under the shining yes. sun? I suppose so. I don't know. Yes. I guess so. Galvanizing. I have to. <laughs> Come So, when last we left our heroes, Otho, the Shifter Rogue, Iskan, the Lizardfolk Druid, Milo, the Azamar Cleric, Gaius, the Satyr Fighter, and Kai, the Human Wizard. Success! The party succeeded in purifying their fourth orb. After fighting off an allop and an army of goop hands, the party catches their breath as their castle keep comes to a calm. Their allies and friends, the Outsider, Empty, Oberth, Gherkin, and Ogrun, also catch their breath and find themselves in a similar state of calm. Now with the pearl on their side, their vigor restored and amplified, the party return to the throne room of Eastonvale Keep and to what adventures await them ahead. So as all of you kind of catch your breath after such an intense fight, you hear the sounds of combat kind of coming to a similar close outside down the hall and down the steps in the main hall. But as Lynn stands, she holds in her hand a purified orb glowing an ethereal light bluish color. I thought it's done then. It is done. Good work. You watch as Lynn then walks over into the war room opens up a chest, and you can see the other three orbs glowing of a similar nature. She places it next to the rest. And uh, just for some clarification, uh, you said there was one more that you were going to have fetched, and then after that, it's whoever can find it? Yes. I... Uh, you see that she's kind of coming out of a bit of a trance, and so she's kind mm -hmm. of seems a little bit, like, not fully with it. Uh, she kind of shakes her head a couple times. She goes... Yes, I knew of another orb that was being held at a Hoketh cleric quite far off, a place that I once went on a sort of, um, a similar to you, Milo, a bit of a uh, wander for my faith. Um, I knew that it was there, and I sent them a, a letter explaining the situation and requesting its delivery through the trading company. I've, because of what happened with this particular orb, now I know it was waylaid not by an enemy, but uh, I guess an ally now, just to ensure that they don't really get lost in, um, to say the least, if it gets lost when it's being brought here, 
I don't know how we could track it down. So I figured by having the shipping company send a letter for every town it goes through, if by chance something happens on the road, we know where to start to search. But yes, after that, I, I don't know of any others. And given that they're immune to being divined, I don't know how we're going to find them. But that is a problem for me to figure out. And if you have any ideas as well, I'd, I'd be happy and open to it. But I don't want you to worry about it right now. What's important right now is we succeeded. And for that, we should be very, very proud. You did very well. Thank you for protecting me. Oh, it's a little touch and go for them for a minute there, right, guys? Kai's going to just be rubbing his head, having been messed with on multiple occasions during that fight. East Gun is kind of split looking at Kai and Milo. Where did that cat come from? It wandered in. Go away. <laughs> <Shoot>. <laughs> be gone. I didn't cast fine familiar. Be gone. Actually, I think I need to feed them. Talk amongst uh -oh. yourselves one second. Oh, no. Oh, we'll keep role playing. How's that sound? Are, uh, are you okay? I, I don't know what happened. It just, I feel like I blinked and I just moved or did something. Whatever that creature was whispering, it seemed to affect you guys. Yeah, no like, kidding. a lot. You couldn't hear half of anything most of the fight. That was probably for the best. Yes, count that as a blessing. No offense to Kai, but I'd rather be stabbed with a rapier than crushed into a pulp by you, Gaius. Yeah, oh. you kind of did a number there on me, man. <laughs> oh, right. I don't know what compelled me. Oh, one second. Just shrinks down. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of I which, always Otho... love the deflated noise. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, sorry. Otho, are you all right? <sighs> yes, I'm fine. I, I, Little I, roughed up, but... I, I swear, I have no idea what the thing did to me. Well, obviously, it controlled your mind and your actions. Yeah. I... Listen, Kai, it's, it's probably not going to be the last time it's ever going to happen, so don't take it too personal. Lynn kind of runs, like, uh, rubs her chin, and she goes, I have not, I don't know what that creature was, but I'm not too unfamiliar with tormented spirits as such. It almost seemed similar to that of a banshee, but uh, it was hard to pay attention, given I was doing the ritual, but... It, it Guys seemed like it... Hand up. Like, as just to ask a question, but just hold Lynn his hand look, up. Lynn well, looks between you're... Otho and Gaius and is like, which child? Which <laughs> child? <laughs> He's the one who held his hand up, so. Gaius, yes. How was I able to hit it? Ghosts don't... I thought you face through ghosts. Or ghosts face through you. I don't know how this works. Well, there's the border ethereal, which is where ghosts tend to reside. In that place, they're untouchable. However... It seems that when we do these rituals, they willingly exit the border ethereal, at least, mostly. But it seems like they can go in and out. Think of it like a layer on top of our own material plane. Um, they fully I go into punch. the ethereal plane. You can't touch them, and they can't touch you. They come into the material plane. It's similar. Magical weapons tend to help. Some silvered weapons for specific undead tends to help as well. Guy's Joey Wheeler face and looks to Milo. I punched a ghost. Uh, again, it's probably not going to be the last time. <laughs> also, if these retaliations increase, there may come a time where your attacks may not be able to hit what comes. Not they to put that pressure on you, but it seems the more we do this, the more strong the retaliation becomes. We may need finer equipment then. Oh my gosh! Uh, retaliation. Are, uh, are the outsider and uh, empty okay? We're fine. You're a voice down the stairs. Oh. A little freaked out, to say the least. But we're fine. You hear some footsteps approach, and you see Oberth and Gherkin, who look just thrilled. Um, just like they're, they're riled up. Um, you see the outsider who's currently like s smearing off some of the weird kind of like stone goop, very concrete-like-esque. 
Uh, and you see Empty behind him, and they look very uncomfortable in this space. Like, their head is on a constant swivel. Um, Agrun actually follows behind as well, uh, and seems to be kind of just, like, hovering. Probably a good ten feet away from everyone at all times, just kind of like, uh, back. <laughs> so, you're all okay? Yeah, we're all fine. Just a bunch of hands. Though, one has to wonder, do you think the town is okay? Maybe we should go take a look and see how the dragonborn ladies and that ogre is doing. Ogre's probably fine, but uh, it's hard to say how far off spreading that was. It certainly infested the castle, but I guess once you killed whatever it was you were fighting, it seemed to have gone away. But is there a nearby window? Uh, this is a very solid castle. Um, okay. You can go up to the roof, though. That's not too far off. I was about to say, that'd probably be the most expedited way to see just how widespread things are. We, we look into a spyglass, and there's uh, there there's Ogrood with a fucking, like, a bunch of hands trying to, like, rip at his skin. He's just like, huh. Oh, you mean Okeg? Yeah, Okeg. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. He's like, oh, cool, high five! And, like, punches yeah. it and kills it. <laughs> I love all these high fives. Uh... Oberth and Gurk can be like, oh, we can go look! And they just run without even being told what to do. Like, they just excitedly run off. Uh, oh. The Outsider and Empty look and they go, we'll do a quick perimeter check and just make sure everything is fine. We'll let you know if we notice anything. All right, easy enough. You watch as the Outsider kind of moves. They grab Empty's, like, helmet and kind of, like, shake it like a tin can a little bit. <laughs> And it's like, come on, stop looking at the ground and kind of give them a push. And they kind of like stumble forward and continue walking. Bye, Empty. Good to see you. Uh, yeah. And they kind of like look around the castle and, and leave. Uh, Ogru just kind of stands there awkwardly for a little bit and goes, if I had known the orb could have done that, I probably should not have kept it near so many children. You see his eyes kind of go wide with worry. Oh, God. I, I mean, what's done is done, and everything's fine, so not much to worry about. I'm no going harm, to no foul. I am going to return to the library to <laughs> resort the books. It is really badly organized in there. Um, if you have need of me, I will be there. Money? Quick question. Yeah. Does some equivalency of the Dewey Decimal System exist in this world? I don't want to answer that question, man. <laughs> <laughs> the moment you said decimal, I had war flashbacks to school. <laughs> what is the Dewey Decimal? I feel like I've shunted that from my memory. It's how libraries are arranged. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. They've got, like, an arrangement. They have an index, basically. All right. But there clearly isn't one right now, so... Agrun doesn't just leave, he just turns invisible and then disappears. Oh, they use the Fizzband's fraction system. <laughs> you know, I wonder if that toast is still in his body. Oh, I don't Spoiler think alert. That. Yes. <laughs> <Even> without, <laughs> he lost the temporary hit points, but he's still got that toast. That's going to be part of him forever. <laughs> oh, no. Toast. It's like swallowing gum. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. However, uh, after a time, as you guys kind of assess, Oberth and Gherkin kind of run back, and they go, Nothing bad that we can see. Everything seems to be about the same. Very good. They kind of do, they both salute, but they do, like, opposite hands. Like, they don't do the same salute on each hand. They do, like, opposite salutes on either hand, which just <laughs> looks disjointed and completely not organized. Hmm. And then they kind of both run off in two different directions, and then Gherkin turns around and joins his buddy. Like, just like they both they go opposite, and Gherkin's like, oh, and then turns and follows Ober. <laughs> Ober just to, shakes his head. <laughs> not to be outdone, Gaius uses both his hands to salute. Nice. What are you doing? With, are you shielding your eyes? With that, do you guys want to take a long rest? Yes! Yes. Right. <laughs> I have eight time. HP! Long, several of the near dead. <laughs> party members. Yeah. I want to I want right. to honk me 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 me. You guys have plenty of guards around you, including Lynn who doesn't sleep, and her dogs <laughs> that also don't sleep. Um you guys are plenty safe as you guys gain the benefits of a long rest and also Woo. are level five now. And Yay. you guys have all done the level oh, required. Sure Alright, time to level up. Alright, so I'm gonna do let's see, it's five. I I hit things and I hit things again. 
That's true. See, Can, you know, you are you are experiencing the versatility of the five E fighter there in all it is. of its glory. There hey, it hey, is. hey, guys! Can I have can I have a funny little RP moment with okay. everyone? I mean, oh everyone. Oh boy! Everyone. So, Monty, does oh, okay. Don roll about? Yes, Don rolls about. Unless there's anything anyone wants to do before bed, I assume not, based nope. off of the the pre game start other conversation. Than, other than things we talked about. Yes. Yes. Oh, right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. You did give me that. Did you want to do that the night before? Or did you want to do that first thing in the morning? It depends on when, uh, it depends on when we cleanse the bead. Was that like midday? That was like mid evening, probably. And you guys went uh, to bed at night. So, so. super late. Yeah. yeah, you guys yeah all right. Yeah. I would have waited until the next day then in that case. Okay. All right. All of you gain the benefit of a long rest and Milo. Oh. Milo was like pounding do? on everybody's door systematically, like, guys, 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 open, <laughs> guys, open, <laughs> guys <laughs> opens the fucking door and runs football, checks him right into the wall. Why? Why? <laughs> guys, go downstairs, go downstairs to, to the table. I got something to show you. Guys, get, come on, come on. It's something amazing. <sighs> guys, runs Why are we shouting? It's too early. Uh... But it is too early. The sun's up. Day started. Come on, come on. That's not how it works for normal people. As you guys, bleary-eyed and a bit sore, make your way into the kitchen, you notice there is a celebratory victory pie currently sitting on the countertop. Amazing. Let's go, pie you... ghost. So wait a second. Did you make the pie? Is that... No, no, no. I could do something better than that. Everybody sit down. Sit down. Uh, let, let me go get the plates and volume, stuff and everything. Final not... volume. It's way too early. I, I, I go set everybody's plates and dishes and everything. The pie itself isn't really a pie. It's more of like a strawberry, like large strawberry tart that's like pie size. Oh, oh that's God. Oh and there's God. like powder and there's like powdered sugar, but there's like negative space that says you did it with a smiley face on it. <laughs> oh <laughs> thank you, Marjorie. All right, all right. Let me guess. Ogren found a cookbook. Uh no, something better. Okay, uh is everybody sitting down, everybody ready? Mm-hmm. <gasps> I just create uh, I, I just 45 pounds of food just show up on all of your plates. Your what? goblets are full of water. Great, Scott. What did what? you do? I can how? make it from my being now. Wait, but how did you learn it? I you don't know. You can it's make food. Milo, just you watch as like the rolling pin that's being aloft by your ghost drops, the apron is taken off, hung on the hanger, and you can just feel <laughs> the spirit just like, <laughs> why am I even here? Wait, wait, <laughs> yeah, come back, come back, I can't make pies! Oh, I'm sorry. You, f you see in the powdered sugar a smiley face when you say, I can't make pies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is the, What is the food that you make look like? Um, I'm going to try to make it look like a, a half decent breakfast with, of course, uh, the, sun. Yes. The problem is it is bland. So it's oh no, bland, no, no, no. But I mean, no, but it is edible. Also, it, but... Otho will like Otho will like take a like a forkful of like what are there like are there like eggs here or something? Is that what yeah? So it's like eggs, toast, bacon, oh, sausage, eggs. He'll pancakes, take a, he'll take a oh forkful eggs, of my eggs, dude. and he'll he'll shove it into his mouth and he'll chew for a moment and then he'll stop chewing. Hmm. And I'll just, I'll just slap your hand. No, you're, you're too mm. early. I, I go around and I sprinkle. I just grab all my spices off my rat, off my spice rack. Oh, I no. just go <laughs> down, spicing everything up. Putting. I'm gonna salt. be real with you, Milo. Doesn't help. Hmm. <laughs> I know, but that just makes it better, Monty. <laughs> the, the gruel I was fed as a prisoner was more flavorful than this. Otho. I, oh no! I I you, uh, have no, no, to wait, agree. I wait. I think I would prefer the undead squirrels. Oh, oh uh, Milo! Oh. I no. Listen, Milo. It so it's a little. What's the word I'm looking for? All right, bland, uh, tasteless. No. Oh, Gaius slams his hands at the table. Done. There are it's a lot of there are plate. there are a lot of people where this would be the best <laughs> meal that they had all day. Guys, that... this is like, I want more, give me more. <laughs> there's, there's, there's nothing on the plate. It's there's clean. clean. There's 45 pounds of food on the table. You keep going, Chief. Uh, Kai is going to keep eating it, and he's going to try very hard not to throw it back up. <laughs> Listen, Milo, it's, it's honestly mm. really impressive, but I kind of prefer your regular cooking. 
Oh, I, I vastly I prefer your regular cooking, Mr. Brown. So here, here's what I'll say. In a, in a pinch, I feel like this would feed a lot of people and they would be very happy about it. But for like special meals, I, I kind of agree with everybody that you can't really replace that special Milo touch that you give to your home-cooked meals. Oh. The problem with the spices is it just tastes like that, just spices. There's yeah, no, like, there's no, there's no <laughs> marriage of flavor. It's just like eating pure pepper or like pure oregano. It doesn't yeah. help at all. Uh, well, the, like the, pepper. Much the next guy, but I would just <laughs> the bottle. Oh, so, so I, I'm, this is an incredibly useful ability that you've garnered, however. If we are ever in a situation where we do not have rations, then this will quite literally save our lives, I believe. Also, hey. the water tastes fine. Hey, Monty, real yeah. quick. Is there a window around? Oh, no. no. There's not in the kitchen. Oh, no. Okay. Right. No, don't throw it out the window. Out the window. <laughs> <laughs> I will well, say like, this. Your, uh -huh. your, your keep is very secure, so there's not a lot of windows. Uh, there's more on the second floor and the, definitely the roof just for arrow shooting, right. but... Yeah, unfortunately. Wait, not a ton of windows. Did, wait, did, did you honest to God give Gaius a second helping? Yes. Plates Eat clean. Eat it. No, oh, yes. Oh All right, God. who, who it's actually... Like tu it's like tubby custard. So, That's what I think of whenever I think of... Guys, God, no, no, above game, guys. You think he's eating it? No, I didn't say he was eating it. I'm sure you're brushing it off to the side. <laughs> did anyone actually eat the food? Kai did. Eastgen did. Otho did, too. Yeah, oh. Otho, Otho ate a helping. In my mind, it tastes like Play-Doh. Okay, oh. did, Ga did Gaius actually eat any of the food? He ate some of it, but where's he put? where's it all going? Who knows? <laughs> Do -do 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 He's Kronk's Emperor. He's new grooving it. Like, all right. Well, like everybody him. except Gaius <laughs> and myself gets gets three temp HP now. Yay. Um, Sun Toast has been bought. I get the real food. <laughs> the plainest of three temporary. Uh, <laughs> you know what? That's going to save somebody's life. It will. All right. Now we I discuss. Guess... Oh. <laughs> I was going to I guess that means you don't want to see the other thing I could do. That's that's fine. No, no, no. no. Show us. It's by all means. What's the no, other thing you can do? It's, it's no. fine. It's fine. I'll show Milo, you later. My, you no, no, no. Milo, I insist. Can you turn a staff into snakes? No, I'll just show you later. It's fine. Can you, can you turn water into wine? That oh, shit, that's a spell! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Let's just get on with the day then. It's, no, it's all right. right. Oh, okay. Sorry, my lord. I didn't Bosco, oh, I just, I just to... looked at the camera. If there was one, I just looked at it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, man, it, it's, a, it's a lifetime of... <laughs> anyway. I know, I know. I'm with you there. I know. I know. It's a li <laughs> Every 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 time somebody says, "May the force be with you," it takes every fiber of my being. With also with you, every fiber <laughs> of my being to not do that. Uh, anyway, uh, Kai, while Milo is also, having an exit, Bosco, just yes. a heads up, you are peeking a little bit. On your Sorry, microphone. just a heads up. Yeah, uh, while Milo is having an existential crisis, Kai is gonna pipe up. Uh, hey guys, I had a suggestion. If you guys wanted to hear it. Uh, Remember how we heard that there was, like, mage vaults all around from our spy network? I guess that's what we're calling them. Right. The yes. black stripes, right? Yeah. Would would you want to maybe check one of those out? And there there was one up by Via Suli, right? Which, you know, we've been meaning to go up there at least to see what's going on, right? Well, we did just learn uh, yesterday that the undead that we are facing is going to be increasingly more difficult to deal with, and if we can find anything in those mage vaults that can help us, I certainly wouldn't turn it down. It's just considering all the stuff that we've learned, and well, now that the Stitch Sister is telling me that there's something even worse than the Ash Plague, I, I figure it's probably worth investigating. Flynn says that we can find things in there to help us punch ghosts harder. I'm for it. I mean... We do yeah. need some, some more resources. I know the our vault is uh, still kind of empty. Yeah, you guys, yes, you guys fill up the, if you fill up the coffers there, you can upgrade things in town mm -hmm. and improve things and also improve the keep as well. So there's a lot of, think of it I like, also... think of it like the, the tavern in campaign one, but with actual money this time. My, my, my thought is this, we're clearly dealing with powers way beyond anything that we understand. And so maybe the more we can learn about this mage war and find artifacts from it, the better prepared we'll be. Plus, yeah, and... we already we already know that someone's looking for stuff. So if we get to it first, it's kind of like a double whammy. 
You to see, be... uh, oh, okay. oh, sorry, sorry. No, 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 go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, shut down. To be fair, we do know it's not that far across the border, and it's a lot closer than the one in Kutchner's Cove. Far less sure. dragons as well. That's we true. Hope. Oh, boy, don't make me think about that. But yeah, that, that's kind of my suggestion, is to take care of that before we leave for any extended period of time, because, again, I'd rather those not fall into the wrong hands if they're powerful magical artifacts or knowledge... I bought a treasure chest for a reason. That's fair. Yeah. Do you plan on lugging that around? Yes, why do you ask? He lugs it over his <laughs> shoulder with a chain. <laughs> I it mean... is, dude, I am I am I am embracing the gold Lewis Dickinson right now. The, Are you yeah. kidding me? The guy is kind of like really strong. Yes, yeah, if anyone so... could do it, it would be him. It seems so. And he, and he looks at Gaius's face, and he's so proud with that treasure chest slung over his shoulder, and he sighs. Oh, never mind. <laughs> and the word you're looking for is of, inefficient, but he's also really cool. Of note, uh, Jekyll, Jessup, and One Eye Jill are currently residing in your keep right now. They're living in the Ooh. one, of the, like three of the servant quarters. Oh. So they're actually here. They wanted asylum, which you've given them, so they mm -hmm. they're they're actually. So the black stripes are on the premises. No, the, those aren't the, the no, black stripes. No, the black That's stripes Zoe are out. Okay, they went out. Okay, my Yeah, they went my out, but uh, they're in Jessup. Athel at the moment. Okay. Yeah, they're heading to Athel. They're not going to get there within a day. They're going to have to travel. Oh, yeah, but um, yeah, Jekyll, Jessup, and One Eye Jill are, are currently just hiding out here because cool. uh, Desmond Deshend is hunting them down for sport. So uh, you can talk to them and get more information because they gave you a kind of a brief idea on your map of where they are, but they said it basically inform you if you want more specific information they could give you more hints mm -hmm. as it's kind of their job to do so mm -hmm. i think otho and Eastgun are going to need to become best buddies because i have the overworld map and you have all the points of interest uh hey mm. milo hi did you really <laughs> just wake up this morning and like know you could do this it's kind of hard to explain i mean my 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 abilities come from you know either my father from Orn or it's kind of complicated. I I don't know how to explain it. You'll see Kai kind of sigh a little bit, but <laughs> dad's allowance. Yes, that's it. Thank you, dad. Thank you for Perfect. the allowance of death and food. I love, Monty, I love how oh, you tried that. Man. Tried to have that be as casual as possible. We all just immediately <laughs> just broke the scene, like, the immersion, everything. Bro, I, uh, I ca bro Milo casts orange lunchables. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kai will just kind of. Sigh very as subtly as he possibly can and kind of give you just a nod. Maybe it's sort of like how I just accidentally became an alligator. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's not unheard of. I mean, like I said, there's many ways to manipulate magic. It's just got me thinking is all. About what? Just the stuff that pointy hat said. Uh, he said a lot of things, and most of them didn't make sense. So that, you know that is a fair point. Just you know, I don't know about the way different people are able to to use magic and how they figure it out. And it's just, I don't know. I'm just I'm, I'm rambling. It's nothing. Oh no, you're fine. Because at the same vent at that same venture, the only thing I learned was at least be able to swing this at least a little bit more effectively. He holds up his great axe. If it makes you feel any better, Kai, I don't think any of us actually understand magic as much as you do. Milo yeah, but, and I kind of just do it, but you understand it. Yeah, but I, I feel like you're all so much better at it anyway. And I, without Strigal here, I feel like I'm just guessing again. So keep guessing. We're all <laughs> guessing. No, I mean it. You've been right a lot. I didn't really give you a lot of credit for it at first, but, I mean, recently, you've been pretty on it. Really? Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> well, that's... Man, compliments are weird, but they feel really good. Um, thank you. I 
taking yeah, notes. Yeah, all the time. He looks at no. everyone. Okay, but it's, it's no, 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 no. Hold on, wait, no, it's he different. He looks at everyone and says, you should tell me what that's like sometime. <laughs> no, listen, I... It's, it's different when you do it, Otho. You have to do it. And Milo, I love your That toast. is not true. <laughs> anyway, so Mage I like, I, I, I like it when you give me god bread. <laughs> <laughs> it's, we should call it that. That's pretty good. Feelings have been bolstered and wounded. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm actually curious. Like, when it comes to the... Because, Monty, I've had DMs say one thing or another when it came to that spell. Some people have been... Some DMs have been like, it's just a paste that you make. Others are like, it's food, but it's just really boring. Like, it's, it looks it, good. It tastes it's, terrible. It's like, uh, you know, like those gummy candies in the shape of eggs. But they're like, oh, they have that no. sort of like... Like, if they look like eggs, but they taste like something else, and the texture is just completely wrong. It's like that. It looks oh. exactly like Milo, it. are you feeding us bean boozles? <laughs> <laughs> Get bean you boozles. son of a right. bitch! I will say, too, <laughs> corn syrup. I will say, too, that, that it, uh, it'll, it'll keep you fed for the entire 24-hour period, and it also feeds animals, so, yes. you know. Oh, it's just good for the axe beaks, honestly. Yeah. Well, be careful, because um, animals get put down when Otho's around, so. It's true. <laughs> Alright. You guys want to call the, um, the, oh my gosh, their name. I wrote, I wrote down their name, but I actually don't have the it on right now. Uh, no, uh, Jekyll Jekyll. Oh, looks the, the, obs oh, the Obsidian okay. Survey? The Obsidian that's Survey. That's what The it name was. I there gave is. them, you nerds. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Um, do you guys want to call them or you want to go visit them in the room? So what would you like? Let's to just go to talk them? to them. Why yeah, not? Let's, let's go, go see them. Yeah, let's go visit them. them. You guys make calls. their way to the servants' quarters, which I actually haven't been to in a while. Uh, but they've been cleaned out, probably by Oberth, uh, Oberth and Gherkin. Um, <laughs> and as you kind of knock on the door, all three doors almost open simultaneously. But one eye Jill is a little bit late as she is like like wrapped up in a blanket. However, it is Jessup who notices you all and kind of looks and she goes. Oh, uh, hello, it's you again. I understand there was a bit of a fight last night. I'm glad to see you're all safe. I take it you're interested in the stuff we told you about the other day. Oh, I. Hmm. What are your thoughts on the matter? Are you intending to go to where we told you to? Oh, indeed. We may be. You said oh, that's it was... all well and good. What vault are you looking for? Uh, you said there was one just across the border into Via Sulai? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me grab my notes here. And you hear, like, thumping and crashing as uh, One-Eyed Jill goes back into her room and then eventually procures a very, very crude map. Enough for you to cross-reference. I was going to say, as she comes hmm. back, Eastgun's got, like, his whole folio open in front. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, we don't have an actual map of Viosula yet because it's a very large country and mm -hmm. Bracky in needs production. time for it. Yeah, in production. However... Hmm. Um, one eye Jill like kind of like puts the paper kind of like in front of you and notes out there are two rivers and you actually remember one of them, uh, Eastgan. There is the Grotusa River and the Preswick Channel specifically. Preswick Channel branches off of the Grotusa River. And I get those spelled, please, because I don't think. Yes. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's yeah. a lot. <laughs> please. Oh yeah, Via Sulai is welcome. There's no street names. There's river names. You need to remember awesome. which river goes to which. And Preswick. Make sure I get this right. Preswich. Uh, Preswich. There we go. <clears throat> Uh, she points it out because you have a bit of a crude map of Via Sulai from when you first traveled to Eastonville. Damn, uh, hold out your map and everything. Yeah, it seems like it's probably going to be a two-day ford upriver uh, to get to where the channels meet, or specifically where Preswick branches off. She points out, and she goes, there's a bunch of waterfalls in this area here. You're going to want to look for one that's about a medium size. There's a man's face behind it. Right, you did say there was a... A statue, like a yeah. demon head, right? No, no, there was a like a big face, and the door was carved inside of it. Um, we went inside and took a tried to take a look around, but we saw some creature or something, and so we turned around and left because it was really strange. Uh, do you know what type of creature potentially? Um, like any distinguishing features that I might be able to 
What we could tell from the light, hunched over, had a tail, horns, and wings. Tail, horn, and wings. Okay. Yeah. Hunched oh. over, was it standing was upright? It... Yeah, two legs, yeah. It was mumbling or something. Couldn't quite make out what it was saying. Um, kind of tall, even though it was hunched over. Uh, question, um, were the arms the wings, or were they separate? Separate. They had their okay. own wings. That's yeah. not with. Darn it. All right. Yeah. Um, you're going to need this as well. And you watch as uh, One-Eyed Jill actually will give you this. Oh. Uh, give us what? Huh? This. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Okay, we went to the same place. Everywhere. Yes. <laughs> What's this? What's this? Oh. And or... Okay. Is this a language any of us would recognize? Or are they what just symbols? What languages does everybody know? Okay. Bust it oh, out, Otho. Uh, I just, it's just Jericho with the list of a thousand moves. Uh, uh, common, dwarfish, elfish, giant, goblin, oh. primordial, okay. thieves can't, Fair undercommon. Enough. Oh, wow. I have a uh, Sylvan, if that means anything. Okay. I, I have abyssal, celestial, and halfling. I have Draconic, Druidic, and also Dwarvish. Okay. Interestingly enough, for those of you who know Dwarvish and Giant, the yeah. script, Ooh. you can't read it, but oh. it seems familiar to you. Um, it's kind of like looking at it. It's like a proto-alphabet, like the alphabet before it became the alphabet in ancient times. These are old runes, like older than Giant and Dwarvish runes. And you can kind of pick out where they would turn into other runes, but you can't understand what's written. However, Otho, you know Primordial. This is basically a father language to Terran. Specifically, it's the written script of Terran, which is derived from the basically original language that led into Dwarvish and Giant. Um, it's often cool. known as Defic, but it's ancient runes related to the primordial or the first language as it's known as this is a wow. very old script yeah. although that. just adjusts his glasses and leans in oh this is defic but specifically for the sake of this it's terran but written in the script of defic as that is it's basically its parent language like there's no real official written unique script to terran it is a verbal language and a rumbling language however adopting this sort of Original language is what is used for Terran. And specifically, as you look closely at this, uh, the word, the four words there spell out clay. Clay. Now, my primordial is a little rusty, but I think that's what it says. Well, that's weird. It, I thought it was just a bunch of, like, pictographs. No, this is in fact a language, a very, very old one. Well, is it, we is this used as a means to open a door? Yeah, there's a bit of a sand door. I'm sure you've seen them before. Um, you kind of write a number or a name or something in it, and the door opens. Not a lot of sand left, but it still works with or without the sand there. That's how the last one worked, right? Right. We had to, like, draw it in the sand in the door. The other thing worth noting is because this thing is underneath a waterfall, there's no telling what state it's in. The fact that there's even a chamber beyond the decontamination chamber is good news, but uh, given the ancient language, the state of the things, I, it's hard to say what's actually there, but who knows. And like we said, better for you to get it than Desmond Deschen to get his grubby hands on the damn stuff. On that, we can agree. Also, if you need a help with getting there, I recommend uh, some fairy men. There's one fella who's really quite good. Oh. Uh, his name's Gifford. He's a drow. Uh, bit of a uh, go-with-the-flow kind of guy, but uh, he can levitate his raft, meaning he can go up waterfalls and make the trip real quick. Have we heard that name before? It's a pretty common name in the region. For a drow? I think I think his mom was human. I don't know. So he's half Gifford? drow? I guess. That sounds very familiar. I'm pretty sure the name was used before, yeah. 
Let me search my notes. I don't see it on my notes, so if you have it. Gifford. I can feel Shell, her energy emanating. <laughs> Just loud footsteps are, approaching faster we, and faster. We, we are releasing her limiters right now. Yeah. Oh, no. I, actually, I, she's on vacation. She might not actually be here because she was oh. giving updates. She's, yeah, she's a family vacation. Hey, Imani, I got a funny question for you. Yeah. If, if I used Water Walk on a waterfall, how would the physics of that work? You do not get spider climbing. You can just like you walk on the surface of the water, but not I was waterfall. no oh no 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 no. I wasn't I wasn't <gasps> thinking of spider climbing. I was thinking more oh, of could I minute. could you I like it? could I four point climb? Wait, you found it? <laughs> uh no. I, right. I I remembered it. It's from the last campaign. Oh, oh wow. wow. Gifford was uh was he was lead. one of the pirates, I think, on the airship. Yeah. It was, yeah, I think he, so. He, he was a knoll. So definitely yeah. not the same guy. Yeah, okay. not the same guy. <laughs> well, that explains why he's not in my notes currently. Because yeah, that would be a pretty different... good reason why. Yeah, it makes your whole search null and void. Ah, uh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Fucking hate it here! <laughs> <laughs> this house is a nightmare! <laughs> Jill, Jill uh, hands off that piece of paper to you, Otho, given that you're the one that can read it. Uh, and she kind of nods to you and goes, well, good luck. Hopefully it's worth you letting us stay here. Wish she could help you out more. Um, in regards to the other one to the south, we don't know the passcode for that door. We haven't really gotten a chance to look closely at it. We just knew it was there based off of some rumors. But uh, you know, good luck. Hopefully you find some good stuff. Indeed. And don't you worry. Sticking it to that ne'er-do-well Duchenne is always worth it. I'm glad to know not all you nobles are the same. It's kind of a relief. Anyway, I need some shut eye. Good luck. Oh, uh, thanks for the map. Uh, Jessup kind of turns and she, she goes, good luck, yes. And um, we hope to see you again. Be careful. That's us. Super careful all the time. Absolutely, always. Jekyll, who's just like kind of standing there quietly staring at you for an uncomfortable amount of time, just goes, bye, and then closes the door, not really knowing <laughs> what to do. He hasn't said anything the whole time. Bye! Guys, yeah. wave bye. At, guys waves at him as he closes the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys ready to take the axe beaks and head north? Yup. Uh, not quite. Yeah. Up. Oh, We're oh, not. Oh, Never mind. Oh, oh, oh. Hold the phone. There's a few things I wanted to do briefly. Oh, all right. Well, let's okay. go. Uh, I'm going to try and track down Okeg. Okay. Easy enough. Okay, He's in his KO. store. Now this Great I want to see. You see him currently like moving some barrels around and like reorganizing. He's also like nailing like what probably used to be the sign of the neighbor. <laughs> like the the shop that the ebony and ivory have taken over and is currently hammering that sign onto his wall like yeah renovations baby as <laughs> do you want to go by yourself though or do you want to go with the group um i mean if anyone wants to tag along they can kai will absolutely go because this sure is very... I'm, i want to know where this is going Everyone's prevalent to his interest there. oh hello welcome back to the store don't got any new stock though i'm sorry that's all right. I told you I was going to come back with a piece of parchment, and here I am. Oh, uh, that's right. Your folded thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, my folded thing. Now, I want to know something before I hand it off to you, and he'll uh, unravel it, and he'll show him, like, uh, he'll show him some of the words, like the, like the first sentence. Um, can you read this? No, I can't read nothing. Mm. I can talk good, though. Do you, is there anyone in your ogre wife group uh, that can read? Uh, Eleanor can read, but not... She can read the common tongue. Right, she can't read this, though. I don't know. <clears throat> um, maybe uh, she can. She's got a magic hat. That helps her understand us, and maybe I'll help her read. I don't know. 
Hmm. Uh, Otho. Yes. Uh, do you need the letter to be, I guess, unlegible to anyone except people that can read a certain language? Well, that was the point of writing in the language I did. Um, I mean, I, I could maybe try to help by making a, a scroll so that they would be able to read it no matter which language you wrote it in. And you send both? Hmm. I'm not necessarily certain that wouldn't defeat the purpose of the secretiveness to begin with. Well, if somebody that isn't Eleanor used the scroll, then yes, that would defeat the purpose. Precisely. And you don't have any goblins in your midst, do you? Oh, yeah, we do. You do? Can yeah. any of them read? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bad a <Moment>. thousand here, man. <laughs> <laughs> he just sort of like shoves the he'll he'll flip one of the letters on its uh to its back and he'll will uh write out the letter in common. Okay. Yeah. Very briefly, and then he will fold it back up and uh, stamp it in the way that I mentioned. Now, the 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 four D chess play would have been you spelt you you spelt things wrong and made grammar mistakes on purpose. Wow. <laughs> uh, 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 okay, we'll your, take the letter from you for your runner to give back to your ogre wife uh, with the mobile, utmost haste. The mobile walker and carrier, but yeah. Um, I mean, maybe she'd like it. Would make her happy. I think she'll be happy to receive the information inside of it, yes. Oh, that's good, because she does not like you. Mm. Mm. That is to say, like, people who are us. I see. Uh, do see that you get that to her quickly. I'm sure she would love to have the information in it with the utmost haste. Oh yeah, I got someone coming by to give me new things and take the stuff you gave me, so I'll give it to him and he can take it to her. Very good. So. Hmm. Okay, kind of gives a little toothy smile. And then turns around and goes back to hammering the inside onto his own building. <laughs> He'll find Otho will find the nearest fire and he will burn the other envelope that he made. Uh, back at the keep, <laughs> easily enough. Just throws so, it in the oh, hearth. <laughs> what exactly did you put in there? Instructions. To Really? Uh, he, he just gives Kai a smile. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. By the way, the term is post-haste that you were looking for. Ah, I guess it would be. It's post, and it must be with haste. Uh, briefly again, Otho will try to find, uh, the outsider and empty. Okay, easy enough. They're currently in the training yard. Uh, you only see empty, though. You don't see the outsider. MT is can, currently throwing knives at a tree. Can we hear the outsider? <laughs> uh, perception check. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> Fuck it, I'll Natural get one! Hey! Hey! I'm not allowed to pass this one. Natural <laughs> one. The outsider is a master of stealth. <laughs> I'm oh, an boy. idiot. <laughs> Man, those, those cheeks are not as thick as they used 19. to be. Or maybe they are! Natural one! Let's go! Oh god. my gosh! Oh, Bosco, you were speaking. You were really loud, dude. I'm sorry. No, you're good. I can't believe it's two fucking natural ones. <laughs> oh my lord. Ah! Uh, Eastcan and Otho, a truly outsider, is a master of self. Milo, 
you look around, you don't see the outsider anywhere, and Gaius, you're like, he's probably eating breakfast right now. <laughs> Have you checked the kitchen? <laughs> However, Empty is there. Empty is currently just throwing knives at a tree at the moment. Pretty aptly, too. Gaius, since you're kind of a combat expert, their accuracy is pretty impressive, to be honest. Wow. That's impressive. Gaius, like, unlatches his hand axe and hands it to Empty. Try this. Where is my Empty? Hold on. Pardon? I don't know! Pardon? I can't find I... my Empty. Oh, no. Empty. Future Monty, you'll know this when you see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what was here. I, I don't know where my can is. Where's my Lewis Strong can? You're going to have to get another can. Uh, can, oh. you? can you? I I hate that we were on the same hey, page. Hey, hey, I real, qu real quick, I need to, I gotta do this for the one. I'm sorry. Do it. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, empty turns next to you and like looks at the axe and is like, I don't know if I can throw that. Well, you can at least try. No harm in it. <sighs> okay. They take the axe in like two hands and you can see them go like. Oh! <laughs> And then they just like kind of go for a caber toss. They must have they really have... small hands. Do they stick the landing? Uh, it like flies. It doesn't even hit the tree. It just hits flat on the ground. Oh, I think I see your problem. It's much easier with a blade, but you don't really have a lot of stability, nor do you have a lot of weight distribution with a heavy head of an axe. I you find blades have... more nimble. You see that they have kitchen blades, and they actually have more kitchen blades than when you first saw them. Uh, hey, can I try? That or this? They hold up one of the kitchen knives. Whichever. They yeah, kind of flip the knife around and hand you the knife. Otho, oh, did you know we had that many knives? I've got a few myself. It's not that hard to pick up knives. The outsider the gave them to me. Kitchen. Oh, that's great. <clears throat> Otho is equipped with nothing but a bandolier. <laughs> I've got like five. Yeah, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> but they're oh not kitchen knives, Otho. That is true. It's very but true. yes, you wanted to try? Yeah, Kyle, Kyle, check the knife. Yeet. Yeet. Uh, how does it feel compared to throwing, like, a dagger? Is it... A bit lighter, more... but a lot mm -hmm. less, like, clearly not meant for this purpose. Mm -hmm. Technically, it's an improvised weapon. Oh. Hey, uh, why don't you give this a try? And Kai's gonna produce his dagger. They take the dagger. Oh... And as they throw it, they kind of do like a spinning throw, but clearly aren't used to the blade. And it like hits the tree, bounces off, and actually dings them in the helmet. No. Oh. Oh. No, that is not meant for me. That's yours. You keep it. Yeah, it's a little bit more aerodynamic than a knife. Let me get that. Sorry. I just... Why do you say that? Uh, just the way that it's made, it's actually meant to be... Throw no. More than a knife. Why did you say sorry to me? Uh, because I didn't realize it was going to be harder for you to throw. That was my mistake. There's like a moment where you can feel like some sort of vision set upon you. And then they kind of shrug mm -hmm. and kind of pull out another kitchen knife and keep throwing. Uh, everything okay? You allow me to do this. Oh, I... Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, no problem. <laughs> uh, let it, let us know if you need anything, okay? Ice picks up one of the, the kitchen knives that are on the floor that obviously missed and gives it a shot. Go ahead. Improvise weapon. Do it. Uh, so that's you a use, what? You can use dex or strength. It's it's a knife. Oh, right? no, here I... Here. There you go. You're not You're proficient. proficient in improvised, aren't are you? you? Yeah. Are you proficient with improvised weapons? I don't think Gaius is. Oh, no, I'm not. Was. Brawler. Yeah. Uh, the, so, uh, what is your something? No, my, my thing is tavern brawler. Oh, okay. That doesn't give improvised weapon? I'm pretty sure it does. 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 It does
I have improvised weapon, yeah. So then All plus right. three. Sure enough, as you throw the kitchen knife, it hits square in the middle of the tree, and it stays there. It goes in a good two inches. Nice. And he kind of looks towards you and goes, that's really impressive. Oh, how long you. did How long did you teach yourself to do that? A mixture. Well, no, it was a mixture. My uncle and my cousins mostly taught me how to wield weapons, all sorts of different ones. And then I just kind of took it from there. You were so, taught. Oh, yeah. My uncle's a bounty hunter. And my cousins, well, they're more the athletic types. And they're really all about gladiatorial bouts. So they really like playing with these kinds of tools. You had... Uh huh. I see. You see there's kind of information overload there a little bit. What's an uncle? Oh, well, um, an uncle is a person who is a man who is also a family member who is from another side of your of your family. So in this case, it's my mother's brother. You see them kind of shake their head a little bit and they go, what's a family? What's a... What's that? Oh, it's people you were born with. Or people who gave birth to you. People who live around you most of your life. I Sometimes see. it's people you meet in your life, too. C c can, I, can I ask a question, Empty? Just because I'm curious and you don't have to answer if it's weird for you. What's the earliest thing that you remember? Remember? Yeah. You see them like, kind of stop and look down at the ground for a bit. And you can almost feel like their shoulders kind of lurch forward ever so slightly. I think I need to go. And they just turn around, grab oh. their knives, and uh, walk away. Oh, just oh. a moment. Oh. Was it, some was it something I said? Did I do it again? Hmm. Uh. No, I think. Mm, go ahead. Maybe that particular subject is uh, hard for them. I suppose I'll go find the outsider myself. Oh, right. What did we come here for anyway? I came here to relay some instructions to the outsider. Right. Uh, let's go try the and kitchen. find him then. To <laughs> the kitchen. As so you guys make your way inside of the keep. You actually catch the outsider currently wiping strawberry and a little bit of your food, Milo, that you left behind in the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> it seems like he maybe ate some of it as well. <laughs> oh, good. Am I going to get insulted again? He has advanced taste. He really is going to be upset. <laughs> oh. I almost said something. I'm not going to say it. It's kind of mean, but not to <laughs> no, you. Not no. to you. To you. Uh... Um, but as he kind of walks, he hears your footsteps approach, and he goes, Oh, hey, how's it going? It is going quite well. Did you catch empty training in the yard? Hope you guys have been talking to them. I think it probably would help with their social skills. Uh, we <laughs> did, as a matter of fact. We were making progress, and then I opened my mouth. No, you it's know, okay. You seem to be very, um... <laughs> You asked some simple questions, and it seems like too much, if that makes sense. Oh, well, they asked us a bunch of questions. So that's good. That's, progress. that's that's fantastic. That's really good. They've they also not... said thank you. Yes, oh, we're, not... we're, work we're working on that one. That's good to hear. They've not accused us of being demons in a while. Yeah, it seems to have shaken that one, but it seems that that's created another problem. But, yeah, it's all the same. But, uh, no, they... Uh, he kind of looks around. It would be really nice if they would be willing to come inside of the keep. They don't really want to come inside unless they have to, unless I really force them to. And they get kind of... You notice how skittish they were? Kind of skittish and weird and nervous. Perhaps uh, they don't like being inside? I'm, I'm, I'm starting to wonder if... Okay, so you know how Augrun came to be? If it was maybe like a similar process for Empty, which is why he doesn't have any real world knowledge maybe, maybe it's an out there theory but even Ogren seems to know more about the real world than empty i don't know they eat and they clearly sleep too it doesn't feel the same I was, I, mean, I was about to say like i was able to send some kind of magic comment from Ogren, but i've never gotten that from empty 
Yeah, it's weird. I, I mean, listen, if it's a problem, I'll take responsibility. But, you know, no, I'm clearly just, it, a kid in trouble and I want to help. But I mean, know. is it possible to completely lose everything that you know? Maybe they just Maybe don't know they anything, never knew to anything to begin with. Yeah. I have my own theory concerning that. Pat Copper for your hot thoughts. I mean. He turns to the rest of the group. Do you remember that being we met in Mordorallo, Kier? Oh, yeah. Perhaps Empty may be one of Kier's kind. But they don't look anything alike. We have only I met Kier. You'd be a better judgment of that than me, says the outsider, as he kind of, like, kicks the rug on the ground. Uh, yeah, but why would, sorry. why would no, you be so knowledgeable about the world and stories and well, empty just has Kier nothing? Had, Kier had someone to teach uh, them. Uh, some bard, I think. Oh, uh, the, the, the... Forget his name. The anyway, dude you're a fan uh, of. That, that is very much not canon. Um... <laughs> Regardless, um, we've only met the one. We don't know what they look like. I think given the information, or rather lack thereof, we've gotten from Empty so far, I think it might be more likely than not that they are from the sky. There was something interesting, because I've been talking to them... You know, obviously, because they I like, I like to think at least that they seem to trust me at least a little bit. Um, I asked them, you know, one day, like, where where did you come from? And they said, I'm not going to tell you that. And I asked why. And they said, in probably the most serious tone I think I've ever heard anyone say anything, that they were not going to tell me because they're afraid they would take me take them back. It was a bit ominous, to say the least. Huh. Mm. I think I can understand that. Yeah. I mean, I'm not here to figure out, you know, what or who Empty is. I'm just going to try and help them figure out who they are, if I can. And I appreciate you all letting me kind of house them here, even though they're not going to come inside, but at least have a space where that's possible. I mean, better here than out in the wild, right? Well, better there than in some village stabbing... Livestock, I mean, you know, we're figuring it out, <laughs> to say the were, least. Were but... they stabbing livestock? Oh, yeah, yeah, the the town where I found empty in, um, they showed up in town with just the helmet, just some linens, uh, and uh, the armor, and they stabbed a cow. First thing they did was they stabbed a cow, and then they were going to put them in the, you know, the... Uh, the house, so to speak, the um, prison, but uh, I don't know something about it. I just it didn't feel right to me, and I, I stepped in, and most people in that town knew me, so they were okay with it. And I kind of been keeping an eye on them since. Hmm. I mean, we didn't know that I didn't know them really long until before you guys showed up. So I'm kind of same a pace with you, but it's progress, and I think meeting all of you was good. I think taking them into that vault was also good, and burying those bodies, I think, was the best thing we could have done more ways than one hmm. but anyway i digress you were looking for me what can i help you with yes i was going to inform you that you should be ready to receive instructions instructions um, yes for we'll be, we'll be expecting a guest hopefully soon and i want you to be ready to receive them uh, receive the... in what way Bring them to the keep. Okay. I could do that. Got a description or anything I should know? You're being kind of vague. Well, it's a woman around 20, long, dark hair. <clears throat> uh, maybe a little bit younger than 20, actually. Uh, greenish eyes. Maybe traveling with ogres. Play the entourage. I'll keep my eyes out. Yes, I will inform... Uh, Law sorts Sparky and Barter, that if such a person or entourage are to enter our borders, that you are to be notified immediately. Their... Their... Status in the country is to be kept a secret. 
I can do that. Similar to the, the Jekyll Jessup and one I Jill, I imagine, as well. Exactly so. Okay, I can do that. Sounds only right. fair. Good man. <laughs> he gives you a, like a firm pat on the shoulder. And oh, I just it. got it. Keep your eyes out. That's really funny. <laughs> it's funny, right? Oh yeah, it's. Listen, okay. you got it. You got to roll with the jokes. I mean, I've said some stuff that have made people in ins. I could just tell, just squirm in their seat. It's it's a lot of fun. <laughs> anyway, I should probably go out and help with uh, empty. We're gonna do a bit of a go around, but uh, good luck. I heard you guys are heading uh, northward into Via Sulai. Hope you like swimming. Wait, you heard Milo that? looks down at his armor. <laughs> <laughs> Take care! <laughs> the outsider waves and heads out towards the front door, probably to go meet up with Empty. <sighs> Otho lets out a uh, large breath, like, he, like he's been holding it, sort of. I wish I could hear like he does. I've heard that it's almost supernatural what happens to your other senses when you lose one of them. And to be fair, the way that you can see is kind of like how he can hear. I you suppose. Are, you are quite perceptive, Mr. C. I mean, you see stuff before any of us most of the time. And even then, sometimes you see stuff we can't even see. Well, I do have really big eyes. And really big goggles. They dilate like that lizard in that one <laughs> gif. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you guys have your instructions. You have your mm -hmm. your key. You guys want to get Rebu and head out? Yeah, let's get Yo, the let's, let's do it. it. All right. You guys quickly Rebu. assess, check in on a few people. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, everyone's kind of doing their own thing. You guys meet up with Rebu, who is surprisingly not disappointed in having to set out so quickly again. <laughs> Definitely likes the road. Uh, uh, you guys <laughs> grab your axe beaks. I can't wait to get on the road again. And mount up, and you guys set off northward. To the north! To the north! the north! Uh, no. I do have a question, just for my own sake. Would I have to roll an insight to know why it looked like Otho was so stressed talking to the outsider? Um, I guess you could roll an insight. Cool. Yeah. That's a 22. <laughs> hmm. It's, it seems like he's the kind of stressed where you are given a school assignment and you've handed it in and now you're anticipating your grade. Ah, got it. Makes sense really hope the teacher likes the essay I wrote about them. I use <laughs> cursive. I use cursive in everything. <laughs> I did oh, my fuck. MLA formatting. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, I Monty. just flashed back. Did you know you MLA, MLA? Isn't, MLA is not used anymore? It's not used anymore. Oh. Wait, I just when? Found remember out. It. When? I just when did they out. stop using MLA? I don't know, but I just found out they don't use it anymore, and I these feel so the, old. These anyway. are the crises of our generation. <laughs> As you guys set out on your various axe beaks who seem eager to hit the road, you find yourselves traveling on a, you know, you've been, you've been back to Easton Vale post, you know, veil being lifted, but it really, something about it feels even more lively than before. Like you swear there's more animals, there's more color, more life. Uh, however, as you set off, you very quickly find yourself on one of the main roads, like a proper cobblestone road that continues on. It's a little overgrown in places. There's like grass peeking through between cracked stone. But all in all, it's a very nice road to travel on. There's even readily available rest areas with like water pumps to, to water your beasts of burden. Um, but before not too long, you eventually find yourself... Uh, in front of the large sign hanging above the entrance to Vomer, uh, which says above it, the village of Vomer. And then beneath it, it seems to be like similar to Okeg's sign being tacked on to his building. Uh, there's an additional piece of wood, probably made out of an old wagon, that reads, don't attack us, we're friendly, with a smiley face at the end. Oh, man. 
they missed an opportunity to put down Welcome to the Fucking Skeleton Zone. <laughs> or, uh, that... conversely, the Bone Zone. And as you enter inside of the village, you see a normal village, except for everything is bones. <laughs> <laughs> you see uh, villagers kind of pulling off laundry, except they're a skeleton. You see a dog having a ball thrown from it by a smaller skeleton. It's all skeletons going about their daily life. There are cow skeletons, sheep skeletons, uh, young and old oh, that's skeletons. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, it's a little <laughs> weird. Um, but you notice one non-skeleton in the form of Marco Ross... Who is, is. Yay. 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 Who's currently uh, kind of talking to a group, and you can see them passing around this blackboard. Uh, and as you enter into town, one of the skeleton points towards you, and Marco turns and goes, Well, hey, if it's not the heroes of the hour. That's us. Mr. Ross. How's it going? He kind of walks over and he turns to us and like, yeah, it's fine. Just go ahead with it. And then the two skeletons kind of nod and walk away. And he approaches and goes, looks pretty good, eh? That's not bad. Not bad at all. Hi. Pe people have gotten to a bit of a routine. I mean, the good news for you is that they don't really eat any of the produce that they create. So it's all being sent to the keep. What do they eat? Nothing, really. Do they want to be compensated at all? I think their protection is what they're looking for. I, I've asked, and they just seem more keen on serving their queen, who worked so desperately to save them. Though, between you and me, I think most of the accreditation goes to you guys, but still. But, uh, yeah, things are going pretty good. I'd say the only problem is uh, it feels like communication's a bit hard. I don't know where you're heading off to, but... Uh, Maybe if you ever find yourself in travels, I heard of this language that's spoken with hands. Might be worth maybe finding a book on that or someone who knows it, maybe to come by and help out these folk. Hand Auntie, language? I love you. Yeah, it's a language of speaking in hands. You use symbols with your hands, and it's a, kind of a language similar to how you use your um, somatic components or spells. It's like a different hmm. language. Would we? Would I have heard of this before? I'm oh yeah, you've heard, you've heard of this. It's we common have? for people who are can't speak. Uh, I believe you're referring to sign language. Speaking in hand sounds so much better, though. That's what, yeah, hand language. <laughs> it's a bit fancier, but sure. Yeah, I mean, come on. Doesn't um, either make that... a whole lot of sense, because you're not speaking, <laughs> but yeah. Hey, Money, uh, I'm curious about something just real quick, sorry. Yeah. Do any of the skeleton people wear clothes? Yeah, they're wearing clothes. Okay. They're okay. wearing Fretcher clothes. They actually seem to be, like, actually maintaining them. That seems to be, okay. like, the main chore here is laundry. Oh, oh, thank God they're decent. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's like, I I feel bad. Like, I want to get them, like, nice clothes or something. Because the other thing, too, just, just quickly above game, it's like, maybe maybe people would be less freaked out if they had more covering their bones. Conversely, conversely Gaijin, we could get them the fly spell so they could be the Castlevania ghost that dance. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. The pole. Scary, scary, Throwing scary. bones everywhere. By the Mark way, I have... I have to get this off my chest because I looked it up. MLA is not only still used, apparently had a ninth edition in 2021. So I feel much oh, better. Oh, hell yeah. It's I used in much... academia. It's not used in schooling anymore. I don't Look, I'm oh, just glad yeah. it's still Chicago around. Chicago and ALA right. style. Are we, oh are we switching over to that instead of 5E? Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, let's go. MLA. I'm in. Let's, MLA oh, ninth edition. How do, yeah. how, do I, how do I homebrew the SATs in? Jesus, get me out of here. All right. <laughs> Marco kind of looks up and goes, yeah, either that or if you could find me a blackboard or like several small blackboards with chalk. Chalk would be actually quite valuable right now. We're running out of that. Huh. <laughs> we have a fellow who actually uh, runs a lot of uh, pawned items into our into the keep. You could speak to our uh, ogre friend close to the well, keep. I, if you wouldn't mind speaking on my behalf, I have to kind of say stay here. Oh, I we can do so. I had a few what? people come through town, uh, most of them a little bit freaked out, but once we explained it, they were, they were nods, and they quickly departed. Would, uh, oh my god, I just, my brain, uh, the, the, the carbon stick, um. Charcoal. So was brain. Money, my brain. What okay. carbon stick? <laughs> would char, would, would writing charcoal work? No, nah, the frequency of which we write, we, we'd go through paper, like, like that. It's oh, better for us right. to use chalk and a blackboard because then we can just erase it and then keep writing and we're not using up a bunch of expensive parchment. 
paper. All right, Mr. Rockefeller. Yes. <laughs> Monty, this is the only time I would ever wish for a magic item. Can we find an Etch-A-Sketch in a Mage Vault? Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, man, let's look for one. It's a magical Etch-A-Sketch. Ye tab, ye iPad. Oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, oh good look, to that's the sneaker slate. I was just thinking about that. Sneaker slate. <laughs> Marco kind of puts both hands on his hips and gives you a smile and goes, that's yeah, pretty good, but uh, we have an inn. I assume you guys are staying for the night, assuming you're traveling up north. Aye. All right. Well, let me get you settled then. No charge, of course. It feels only fair. If you insist. As you guys... Get a lodging for the night. It's a very quaint little little tiny town inn. Uh, you guys are treated to a fucking feast, though, because they have so oh. much food and no mm. one to eat it. Yeah. Um, oh, hell yeah. You guys get like summer, like summer roasted vegetables with dill and and butter sauce and uh, you know Yorkshire puddings with thick gravies and. Oh um, man. You get, unfortunately, I'm sorry. Uh, it's the it's the most convenient thing: chicken, roast chicken, stuffed. With uh, similar you say vegetables. sorry like it's not delicious. I was about to say, I'm sorry, Monty. I have to leave the session. I have to go eat something. Uh -huh. <laughs> Crackle, crackled, like like crackly skin on the outside, thick, juicy. Uh... Oh, dude, like, shut up. You know, it, would, it would cost you nothing to not be this descriptive. <laughs> I'm sorry. However, oh. after a pleasant meal uh, and you know music and entertainment provided by the skeleton band in the corner of the room that have not lost their edge without their flesh... Uh, you are all treated to a free in-room, which has very quaint little beds uh, with soft quilts and, um, you know, nice fluffy pillows with sheep wool inside of them. <sighs> I feel repulsed. But you I guys like gain the benefits <laughs> of a long rest. Ooh. I'm genuinely curious, Milo. Do you think they would like the food that you can conjure? He squints at you. <laughs> No, I mean, if... No, I don't mean it like that. I just mean if if they want to mm -hmm. feel like they still eat, it's not wasting food that has to be grown, right? It's food that you already... Like, you create it yourself, right? Wait, that's actually fucking fair. Is that shit biodegradable? After 24 hours, yes. What? Oh, hold up. Oh, well, there you go. Now you got fertilizer. Magic fertilizer. Or in blessed fertilizer. Wow, I can't believe I said that out loud. <laughs> it, it spoils, but Monty will have to determine what spoiling does for magical food. That's fair. Also, he's a little... He's still miffed at, at all of you, except kind of Gaius. So Wait, what? Hold on! Yeah, they, they all ate, though. The person who ate and supported you? The fuck? You said it tasted bad. I said it, it tasted... Was Average. This There's is what not, I that's never bad, said the Bosco. word bad. Guys, no, I, there are I, levels to this. I've had bad pizza before. I've had <laughs> average pizza before. They are not equivalent. I'm, I'm leaning over you, Bosco. This is the power of just shutting the fuck up next <sighs> time. <laughs> All right. So I don't I even give, know. I try to be a nice guy. I, I try. Will give, I will give myself Eskin and Kai three temp HP. Moving no, fuck forward. your toast. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll uh, give it to Eskin. He gave it to you, and you fucking you slapped my toast out of my hand. I hands, sure did. Kai. Fuck you, buddy. All right. Crying. Are you guys okay if we expedite travel here? Yes, yes. yes absolutely. 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 All means. Okay. As you imagine. guys sorry. set also, off uh, the also following lunch. day. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, I, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, 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 was, I was just making sure because I, I, I did look at the screen for like a hot second. I was making sure the art wasn't covering the, the tracker. Oh, right, right, right. The key. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, You're okay, fine. okay. I was I was looking like, what did I do? No, 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 no. Oh. You are you are you are fine. I, it was just before the the key art was over the marker. So people didn't see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got rid of it once you guys. Yes, moved to Bowling. we're good. Yeah. Uh, as you guys awaken the next day, uh, you're given like packed lunches as well for the day, so you guys Aww. get a ration each. They give you like oh little, hell yeah, like, like, it like off. triangular cut cucumber and cream cheese sandwiches. By the way, like, how many oh. rations are we burning for this trip so far? Uh, None so far right? It could None theoretically so far. okay. 
could be theoretically none. I'm okay with that average food making it none. So, as you guys set off northward, you find yourself over a large stone bridge that courses over top of a large river that cuts through Easton Vale, eventually hitting a main road that goes through the forest, camping for the night the following night. One ration, but you've got the sandwiches. So All right, back to counts. normal. You yep. guys eventually find your way going forward, camping near the last bastion keep, a massive, uh, almost like smaller castle uh, of a similar stone made of Eastonvale Keep uh, that appears to be relatively empty. Um, you're used to seeing flying undead beasts taking nests there, but that night you don't really see anything. The Is following... It... Sorry. Go ahead, sorry. Uh, right off a ration, if, unless you want to Another use one? the... Eat, eat the I am the slot. I... I am the, the slob. Wow! <laughs> I will. Fine. I will eat it. I'll eat it. I'll, I'll eat, eat, I'll eat I your will. food, Gaijin. Cool. I will eat my own slob and save I the will. ration. Not, no, no, no. I will also save the ration and eat his slob. I'm I sorry. Will eat, I will eat slob until we stop traveling. Just to you see. Yeah, you. let's go. I'm in this with him. Gaijin, Gaijin, you see, you weaken me because I can't describe the flavor of your food because there is none. It weakens me. Fucking <laughs> Milo, I'm none here for you. Gaijin. Gaijin. Uh -huh. Gaijin. I have to eat my food so I can get rid of my carrying capacity. You could just turn into fertilizer. Mm. <laughs> the great anyway, fuck you! <laughs> spirit. The following morning, you guys set off. Uh, you find yourself at Trader's Reach, where you see currently uh, Nanu, the Minotaur cleric of Ginter, currently uh, assisting what looks to be some random individuals who just look like bandits who have like turned a new leaf and are learning how to plant crops hey go bull Let's yeah go. she yeah. waves at you guys as you pass through the village is otherwise completely empty there's a ton of vacant buildings but you notice that there's actually quite a few people taking up residence um i mean again it's free real estate it's free real estate fair enough however as you guys make it past traders reach you find yourself off map and... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Go ahead, right off a ration. Another... Wait, can I eat the slop? Eat, eat the, the slop. slop. Let's go, I'm in. Can I eat the gray nutrient paste that sustains Mitt Romney? Yes, you may. Oh my god, what the wow. fuck was that reference? <laughs> can I have the government mandated food ration no. as is present no, in don't. equilibrium, please? You do not get to eat my food. Do we get, <laughs> do we get three temp <laughs> HP? <laughs> Do I get do I get three temp HP for reading That's, your slop? Okay, so just to expedite this, uh, the three the, the three temp HP stays with the people I stated, unless I state otherwise. All right, yeah. got it. Never mind. Yeah. I am I'm putting it back at zero. So you guys begin to travel what is known as the border road, specifically, Bosco, come on, <laughs> specifically. Easton Vale actually is kind of being hugged. I mentioned this before we started streaming. Mm. Uh, Easton Vale is kind of hugged by Athel and uh, Hearthland to the north, meaning that you guys actually are walking between the borderlines multiple times. You're coming in and out of both countries, kind of in like a weird zigzaggy line. Um, and as you guys kind of traverse forward, you do notice that, at least on the Hearthland side, you do see a lot of like soldier patrols. Um, it is worth noting that you guys travel on this road for seven days. Okay. I'm just gonna keep on pushing Milo over, over the borderline. The border line. <laughs> you notice, borderline. you notice as you're traveling to the east, um, and actually Gaius, you would recognize this that the thor the forest over the horizon grows very dense and thick and dark. Uh, and looks a little bit uninviting for those traveling uh, to the west of it. Uh, however, you also notice another thing on the border road is that your axe beaks are now constantly walking on an incline. The altitude is beginning to increase. Uh, not drastically, but there are times where there are like sheer cliff faces that require these sort of narrow trail paths to climb up on to eventually come up on the other side. And you begin to feel as the terrain of Via Sulai begins to rear its head, as you can see, like, kind of 
stretching, like almost like branching out creeks and streams pouring out from the mountainside in various different ways. Uh, natural channels of water cutting through the earth, making you have to kind of leap over top of small cracks in the stone that have been eroded away with time. Lush, lush trees. And in fact, an interesting note, this is above board, the overlay that we have, actually, the terrain is exactly what Dia Sulai is like. The background oh, wow. and all the vines and the stone mm. is very mm. much the terrain of the Asulai. Cool. Oh, neat. Mm. As there's a lot of greenery, a lot of moss. Um, the, if there is stone, it has something growing on it. The amount of water that flows through this place just encourages life. And as you guys kind of make your way uh, northward, eventually you see a large like waterfall. And you can see perched at its edge, very much kind of like um, a bit of a mill town, but sort of a little in spot of like a pepper of like five or six buildings and a very large and long dock that goes into the riverbed as you find yourself in the border sluice, a small town on the edge between Via Sulai and its neighbors. And that is where we will take our break. Hey! Hey! Look, too bad. I'm gonna go get a snack. I was gonna say, as much as we made fun of Milo's uh, promptly supplied feast, I also need to consume. So I shall return. Consume. Oh, actually, my dinner came with a not paid for but nicely packaged slice of Italian cake. So I'm gonna go grab some. Ooh. The, you know, I'm like gonna... the, the the chocolate layered, like green, yellow, and like red uh, mm -hmm. sponge cake. That Ooh. yummy. I'm gonna do what I always do, which is stay right here with all of you, because it's time for the Bosco halftime show. What up, y'all? By the way, that sick overlay, Citra King. You could thank him for that. Let's see. Uh, Morth Randor, thank you for the hundred bits. Poor Milo, he is so salty today. Dice Ruler, thank you for the bits. Happy early birthday, Connor. Thank you. Uh, Mikan Pachi with 100 bits. Okay, in Gaijin's defense, the bland magic food still tastes better than Arby's. What a low bar to clear. Whoa. What a low bar to Hang clear. Hang the fuck on. Oh, are you an Arby's guy? I like Arby's. All right. Any bad. You, you're allowed to a, like whatever you want. I enjoy the odd Baconator every now and again. <laughs> the Dragon Lord, thank you for the 100 bits. How's the hentai slayer doing? They're doing great. They're hanging in there. Uh, hockey dude, thank you for the 100 bits. So Milo made Soylent Green, right? Oh, boy. Killer Chancey, thank you for the 15 bits. You all forget that you're within Milo's fireball range. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Apparently, I messed up big. A lot of Arby's fans. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got Gorns. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. As soon as I get this message on my screen. Uh, so I have a serious question for Basco if he likes to answer it. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So I learned recently that the race of Mark's character that plays in Ravenloft while being part of a native mythology, also having a laundry list of writers unintentionally using them to portray said Native Americans in a very negative light. So I wanted to know, Bosco, have you or Mark consulted with Native Americans before playing the character? Actually, yes. So uh, one of the people that Mark and I played in person D&D with uh, is Native American. So we did actually talk to somebody before we went uh, and created the character. Uh, that being said, that doesn't excuse all the bad interpretations that have been done by that particular creature. I won't spoil it. If you haven't watched Ravenloft, you should. Uh, but yes, we try to be as considerate as possible uh, with sticking with the actual lore of said character. But no, thank you for your question. Um, Zen, thank you for the 100 bits episode title, Everyone's a Critic. I mean, this is also very true. Uh, Fully Cooly, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Connor, I can't believe I'm using my sub to say this. But as an actual Arby's worker, how dare you? Italian I mean, you heard, received. You you heard it from the 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 insider. 
Uh, Harbinger, thank you for the thousand bits. Laughs like a demented chocolate fish. Finally, I can watch you live. Well, yes. Yes, it is. And for those of you that are confused about the time zones, it's not your fault. We just start an hour early now. Tell your friends. This is the official start time. So, yes, thank you for joining us. And thank you to everybody who is uh, sticking around. Callum Dross, thank you for the 20 bits. Would food made from magic be considered vegan? Ah, uh, technically, yes. It's like cloned meat. It wouldn't be the same as something living having to be killed for it. I would assume. That's kind of the thought process. Where does the clone come from? We don't have to get into that part. Uh, <laughs> we've got... What if, what if, what if the, the, the create food food is actually all of the spell components you've ever used mashed together into a paste? Uh, oh boy, I love eating $500 worth of a fucking diamond. Let's see, where was I? I totally lost track of everything. Uh, Gengar, thank you for the 10 bits. Fun fact, the Dancing Plague of 1518 was a case of dancing mania that occurred in Strasbourg. Uh, I'll go with... I'll say so modern day France. That's what we'll go with. In the Holy Roman Empire from July 1518 to September 1518, somewhere between 50 and 400 people took to dancing for weeks. That's crazy. Uh, Volk551, thank you for the 100 bits. The village has become the dance macabre, also called the dance of death, is the artistic genre of allegory of the late Middle Ages on the... <laughs> Universal, uh, wait. I'm back. The University of Death, it's a real thing. Oh, I believe it. I had to write, I had to write a paper on it, actually. Final Fantasy 14 survey. This is from Ace Bounty with 100 bits. Oh, no, 16, sorry. Which job class are you interested in? Uh, Pictomancer or Viper? I haven't touched 16. Oh, dude. Pictomancer! Or is it 14? Maybe it's 14. I just want to say read. this. As a Final Fantasy 9 and a Final Fantasy 6 fan, I'm fucking feasting. Like... Oh, Monty, Monty. Wait, I'm a 6 fan. What's in it? Painter. Painter that's is, a, is that what a Pictomancer is? That, yeah, but, but, it's exclusively from 6. No, yeah. no, it is not. No, it is not, Monty. Does it show Picto up in another game? Pictomancer was in 11. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. no, I, I played 11. Fuck you, I did! I'm, I, I'm, I'm sorry for raid. you. I'm getting a fucking raid people, dedicated to fighting the big bad from it. Yeah, people are still yeah, playing people 11, still as a matter play of fact. People are playing yeah. it 23 years later, dude. And Viper is just Zidane. I'm sorry, but like, yeah, literally, yeah, I'm, yeah, like, I'm like, I'm like, it's a new class. I'm like, that's fucking, that's Zidane. <laughs> that's Zidane from 9. <laughs> I love it, though. Thank you for saying Monty. their name oh. right, by the way. Monty. Thank you. Mont solution nine like holy shit oh yeah i haven't, I haven't seen everything because i don't want to see like stuff from the trailer but like mm -hmm. i i heard about the classes and i also saw from roth which was which was also good Ooh. okay like, fair enough but, 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 it, it, listen you're gonna if you're gonna be treated very specially if you are a final fantasy nine fan in this ex this upcoming not match. to change yeah, the topic don't spoil back, it, but, but, but yeah. i i can't believe all of like the arby's wendy's go back and forth that's happening right now this if i ever ate a I'm if i ever give the same rush uh, the wrong restaurant if i ever ate a meat mountain sandwich i think my intestines would divorce me and take the kids well that's my a sentiment to mountain. come back to <laughs> oh uh we've got gauze with 100 bits uh in majin boo voice you make fun of Milo's food, so Milo turn you into toast. <laughs> oh, I'm putting for boo! <laughs> when Skyjin is back, we can keep going as well yes. if everyone else is ready. Yeah. I'm still eating my cake, I'm sorry. Uh, that is Sway okay. Girl, thank you for the bits. Bosco, I just want you to know that I've been listening to In My Sights almost nonstop. How dare it be so good? Well, thank you. Oh, and give... shit. Yeah, I gotta what? listen to that. I haven't had a chance to listen it's to good. it. It's good. I, I give all Here the props. Here I am officially saying it on a recording. It's good. That's, yeah, that's not gonna go away, and it won't age mm. well. <laughs> thank you so much to Paranoid DJ for hey, asking me in the first place. We had Bosco? a great team. Yes. Welcome to fucking singing, my guy. Yeah. I've it's got like, two songs on Spotify now. It's weird. Which, it's like, I, may I just say, as a friend of yours who's been making music for almost 20 years, you have more songs on Spotify than I do. You could change that. If you, I if know, you do but a I'd remix, have to put my songs that. on Spotify. Oh, yeah, you yourself. would. You have to promote yourself. Uh, let's see. Also, by the way, Mark, just because I wanted to bring it back, somebody asked if you had consulted 
uh, any Native Americans in the creation of Waihakeda. I mentioned our friend that we played D&D &D with, uh, uh, Zan's old roommate, uh, but I was curious if you had talked to anybody other than him, Alex. Uh, so I, I am of Native American descent myself, um, but uh, right around the time that I started thinking about Waihakeda, um, I was uh, doing a lot of exploration and kind of connecting with my Cherokee roots oh, and uh, met a group of people who um, encouraged me uh, to uh, ask them about things um, and to um, find ways to bring uh, new, uh, what's the word? Um, new uh, presentations of uh, classically misinterpreted uh, Native American lore. Um, mm. And so it was with their graces uh, that Y Hakeda was created. Nice. Sick. And right, I see Gaiji back. back. What up, buddy? Gaiji, you good if we keep going? Yeah, sorry. I I had a really bad sneezing fit, so I might have to mute a whole lot. I have a tickle in my nose I cannot get rid of. Oh, man. I, I would get it for you, but I'm contagious. <laughs> Poke you. You can pick your friend's nose. Don't, I'm you contagious. Your nose. Uh, you can't, you pick, can't your pick your friend's nose. nose. Uh, Not with that attitude. Uh, uh, All right. As you guys find yourself in Border Sluice, you, uh, the, the buildings themselves are very interesting. Unlike your classic kind of like, um, you know, thatched houses, instead the roofs are made out of like clay tiles. And they're very wide, too. Very wide-brimmed roofs. Um, notably, there are carves in the earth that suggest that it rains here quite frequently. And given the amount of water, that is no surprise. However, as you approach, uh, you're immediately met by a uh, like an elf who kind of waves you down and helps guide uh, Rebu to uh, the stables. And they actually seem to know each other. It's like, Rebu! And he's like, hey! And they kind of like do like, the, oh, how you doing? And kind of like small talking. You're son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> As they... pushing too many pencils. <laughs> We're working for some fancy pants now, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know me. Gotta make that money somehow. He's like, how many girlfriends do you have right now? Hey, listen, I told you it's not like that. They kind of like banter back and forth. Eventually, the axe speaks are taken and Rebu turns to you all and goes, so I'm not exactly good at water travel, so I will stay here until you guys return. And if you guys end up teleporting back, just let me know, and I can make my way back to uh, Issa Vale on my own time. Got it. Fair enough. Very good. I got some friends in town. will update you this time. Nah, no worries. Uh, well, you know, maybe just don't leave me with an angry mob, but I know most of these people, so it should be fine. So that means the chances of them being an angry mob are higher? Uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm wanted in a couple towns, and he kind of scratches his neck right. and pulls I'm, out his I'm, pipe. I'm wanted, in, I'm wanted in multiple states. Sometimes they want me twice. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wants Rebu. All right, well, I'm going to stay with some friends. Good luck with the ferryman. Hi. And he let's, kind of waves off and leaves you. Let's go to the docks. Monty, do I know anything about how the ferrymen conduct their business? Like, what kind of payment they look for, if it's different from just normal fare or mm -hmm. anything like that? Roll a history check with advantage to see how much you remember. Probably the Ooh. best way to do it. Because you've been dead Let's for a go. year, so your memory is a little, you know, it's been a while. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm not going to roll stasis. the second die. That's a Use natural 20. Let it go. Wow. Jeez. They actually have a very interesting way of doing business. So in order to be an official rafter and to write up contracts, you have to be ordained by the kingdom. So the actual Ooh. royal family. Hmm. Um, however, you can hire a... Um, <laughs> You can hire a rafter without a contract, which basically just means they set their rate and then, you know, there's no guarantee you have to pay it. So if you rack up a debt to a rafter, you do have to pay it and you can be like arrested for it. Whereas if you if you create a debt with a non-sanctioned rafter, you don't have to pay them technically and you could run away. But it's, you know, considered really bad. And a lot of those rafters kind of know each other and will send people after you to get their money back. Um Generally, you would know you've come downriver, but you remember when you were on the other side of Via Sulai, you if you're traveling upriver, you want someone who is prepared to travel upriver, because if not, you might be expected to carry a raft through like the woods for like multiple mm -hmm. days, which is very slow and exhausting and really annoying. 
Mm. Uh, general standard rate, um, it cannot exceed over five silver a trip if it's ordained. Uh, however, some others may not be sanctioned and may charge more than that if they have better services, more or less. So, okay, you're generally looking at like one to five silver per day per day traveled. Uh, and going up river, unfortunately, is slower than going down river. Down river is way <laughs> faster. You will go up two tiles per day up river, and you will go three tiles per day down river because you Ooh. have oh. movement. You guys are going up river. Yeah. 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 Would that right. apply if we find Gifford, the ferryman, who can levitate his boat? Uh, you have to ask him um, and see. I'm talking about, about the, the time it would take. You'd have to ask him and that, see. That's because, what she's saying, is we would yeah. have to ask. Yeah. Because most ferrymen have their own pace of travel, um, depending on what their deal is. So gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. So are we um, are we near the river right now? Yeah, you guys make your way onto the docks. You so currently going see there's... down, down, down by the river. Shut up, Bosca. The docks are very large. Like the it feels like more there's more life on the docks. As you see currently people uh kind of sorting through freshwater shrimp in like uh basket cages that they're currently going through. Uh, you see various individuals just swimming in the water. Uh, you see a few triton actually here, mm. uh, freshwater triton. Um, are there however, any lizard folk. There are. There's like two. Um, Kill them. One. Well, relax. Uh, one of them appears to be a, a water basilisk. Uh, the other appears to be a uh, very small crested gecko child who's currently running with a bunch of other kids on the docks. Do gecko I child. recognize the other basilisk? Uh, you remember seeing him when you were coming through, but they're, they seem to be like a fisherman, uh, okay. specifically a spear fisherman who seems to be sorting his catches at the moment and figuring out what to sell. Okay. I need to, I need to talk to that gecko kid because he could save me 15% or more on my spell costs. Did we trade Bosco's when we went to break? <sighs> like what? Yeah, I don't, I don't what know what happened. happened. However, as you get to the dock, there's lots of spaces for rafts here, but there's not a lot of rafts, which makes sense. You're kind of at the, the edge of the country, which is not a common, like, really popular place to be. Um, however, you do see that there are three rafts. One of them is almost shaped like a boat with, like, a bit of a divot uh, and has, like, a... It's sort of like a reverse... Uh, what do you call that? The skiing, water skiing. It's like a reverse water ski situation where, like, the handle's on the front and the, the boat is behind. And you notice an extremely buff looking paradise fish triton man currently <clears throat> fixing up his raft at the moment. Um, beyond that, you see a halfling man kind of smoking a pipe. And his raft isn't a raft at all. It's a giant cauldron with like some flotations around it just to keep oh, it upright. It's God. a very deep thing. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, and then the last one you see currently playing a tiny little guitar uh has a piece of like you know reed in their mouth a straw hat and like red round like ozzy osborne sunglasses you see a drow with his feet up in front of his raft there we go there he is i get him. think that's probably gonna be our, our guy um also uh, i'll let you do the talking but uh just make sure you ask if he's ordained or not very well Mm -hmm. And I, I will approach yonder ferryman. All right. You see him currently plucking out some strings and thumbing to himself. But as you approach, you kind of blot out the sun, and he kind of, like, lifts up his uh, sunglasses. And you can see his eyes are not, like, kind of the white you are used to for a drow, but actually have, like, they're quite icy blue. And he kind of looks up at you and blinks. He looks to be, like, not young, but not very old either. He's also got, like, long kind of, like... um how do I? You know what? Moist critical hair. You know like the long man. Oh my god! Oh, so yeah. specific. You, long you, hair. You, 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 you. <laughs> and he looks up and he goes, "Hey man, how's it going?" Greetings, Sir Ferryman. Oh, we were wondering so if we could. <laughs> we were wondering if we could uh, charter your ferry for us. Uh, we were also wondering if you were ordained. Yeah, I've been ordained for, I think, five years now. My cost is a silver per day. We can definitely handle that. Where are you heading? Uh, we are heading towards... Oh, 
Uh, where are we heading again? Uh, we're heading. Uh, we need to go to where the uh, Grand uh, Grandos. Wow, <laughs> I can read. Uh, Grandosa and Presswitch Channel meet. Ah, uh, all right. A natural system that one is. Sure thing. Get aboard. Come on on. And you watch as he kind of steps onto it like it's nothing. Like he's done this a million times before. And the raft, you look at it, it's it's fairly sizable. It's it's quite a generous size. It's actually enough size that you guys could probably sleep on it comfortably. Ooh, Ooh. let's go. Ooh. Slumber We're balling. party on a boat? Uh, out, of curi- it. out of curiosity, and this is not saying anything to the way you look. Trust me, I've had people think I'm insulting them. How much do you all weigh together? I need to know that for, like, my raft. Oh. Uh. Um, I, uh, I've, I, I'm a total of about 150 pounds. 215. Okay. I'm trying to remember um, where on the sheet it says is, how much. Above game, is this, are you asking our equipment? Total or like, weight. Total weight. Total weight, weight, like our body weight and. Plus your body weight. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, okay. Breaking out the calculator. Yep. Don't have to be, you just ballpark it. It's just for a specific reason he needs to well, know. But I have, I, I have I my exact weight on here, though. Uh, I don't think we're total as a party over like 600 pounds. Uh, no, with our equipment. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're way over that. <laughs> um, so, uh, I'm about 270 pounds with all my items. 270? I got a, uh, I got good news and bad news. Uh oh. So, the good news is I can levitate my raft to go up waterfalls. The bad oh, news is I, I can only lift so much weight, so you might have to like depart and like do a little bit of rock climbing. Are you guys okay with that? Oh, I think Gaius we... pulls up his climber's kit with I the biggest say, the on his can... face. <laughs> yeah, the, the grappling hook ready. just shoots out from the top. Oh, um, Yo, the satyr's ready for an adventure. Good on uh, you. I, 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 actually, um. So here's the thing. Depending on high, how how high the waterfall is, um, I could just cast uh, water walking, and you could that's... literally just have us come out and and wait on the water's top and, and well, that's come not back. gonna that's not gonna help you trying to get up these waterfalls because some of them are really really high. So you're gonna still have to do some climbing, I'm afraid. You would be able to take us all the way up. No, not with levitate. I only could, I have to lift my raft and myself and oh. Well, no, that's that's what I was about to say. If you could, if you could, like maybe two or three at a time, go up, drop us off, come back down, get the rest of us, go back up. It takes a long time. All right, guy, I am afraid that you're gonna probably have to do some mountain climbing. But I appreciate the gusto. You're I ready. Sh- I tried. I swear I, I tried. Know, if it if it helps, uh, just from experience, the waterfalls up here are a lot bigger than anything you would see in Easton Vale. Do we even have waterfalls in Easton Vale? No. No. <laughs> the most you have is well, like a creek that maybe goes down like a foot of water. We have oh, a bridge. Good. We have yeah. several bridges. We have a toll road. We have a bridge God. that's first with a turkey. Yeah, but a river does not confirm a waterfall. I know. Sometimes a river <laughs> is just a river, you guys. God. <laughs> more, more, more referencing that like Easton Vale as a whole is not a very mountainous region. Um, oh, yeah. Oh. Whereas like this area has like really tall mountains so the waterfalls are going to be pretty large also because you got a natural 20 on your history check Eastgen, i didn't give you the list of of see, finding a good rafter you ready for this list oh, oh my boy. god yes they must be muscular okay, okay. all right we got that, that one that mean, check they mean they means that means they have experience they have to be calm meaning they can go with the flow which is important aha uh, i see what you did there they need to have a plan for upstream travel he's so good and if you want a, an entertaining trip, they better be good at singing. Oh, and he had the... All right, we're good. Oh, no. Four Additionally, <laughs> really good rafts use giant frog balloons, frog hemoth lungs, or the molted shells of mega river crabs, or hill giant cooking pots as boats. <laughs> frog hemoth. And the, most, and the most important thing is be ready to get wet. It's inevitable. Wait, wait, wait. So he's a performer, right? Will he sing yeah. shanties with me? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go! Uh, Gifford gets aboard and lets you guys get on. And as you each get on, you expect the boat, like, the raft to, like, sink into the water, but it stays aloft at an even level. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. We're ready to set off? I guess. Let's go. All right. 
You watch as he reaches over and grabs just the, the longest pole you've ever seen. It's probably like 20 feet long, but he maneuvers it with such pristine grace and ease. Like you actually get, you're scared you're going to get hit as he sweeps it around himself, but he easily misses all of you before it hits the water. And in an instant, you all feel yourself jettison like five feet forward suddenly to the point where you have to be like, whoa, okay, sit down. <laughs> and as you guys take to the river, you have chosen Gifford as your raftman, which was a good suggestion. Eventually, you guys make your way up river and begin to see more and more the sort of environment of Via Sulai. It is all river. You don't see any roads anywhere. And the river kind of crawls up this large mountain that just kind of crests the horizon as far as the eye can see. And as you guys sometimes meet spots where you have to kind of bring the raft up river, sometimes he's able to kind of maneuver and you notice on the side of the river, there are spots where there are these like chains and ropes that are kind of hanging bolted to rocks on the side of the river, which he uses a hook on his pole to like actually physically like drag, like he uses two poles to drag you guys up like smaller, smaller waterfalls. It's a little perilous and scary, but it works. <clears throat> Interesting. However, eventually you find yourself in front of a 40 foot tall waterfall that cascades down in rapid water. And that is where you have to unfortunately dismount. And he slowly levitates his raft up and on to the other level where you guys eventually climb up some designated walkways and meet back up with him and re, you know, remount re the raft and continue forward. Mm. Yep. However, as about, I'm going to say, let me check my map of the Asula here, my crude map that has yet to be perfected. <laughs> we cannot see anything but utter perfection. I know. Oh. This was actually the first map I, or second map I ever drew, actually. Was, was it really? It oh, was, wow. yeah. It was actually the first country I designed. And it was uh, shaped like a Kakuna. <laughs> Kakuna! Um, this one's <laughs> shaped more like, uh, I don't even know what this is one's shaped like. Silky. Um, let's see. Or is it Cascoon? We'll never know. You guys <laughs> sleep on the raft at night, and it's kind of eerily calming. Um, your companion actually does require a bit of a break, though he requires a shorter break, uh, because he doesn't actually sleep. He meditates. Because mm, he's yes. an uh, elf. He's part elf. Mm -hmm. In fact, at some points, he actually get, lets you try the stick. Uh, Gaius, which is very Ooh. unwieldy and is surprisingly like thin. You expect it to be like of a stronger wood, but it's very bendy. But if you place it right and you're careful enough, it, it should not break. And it's made out of very resistant wood. Um, however, at night when you guys sleep, you just see the sky filled with stars. Mm. So many, because there's just, like this natural valley in the sky where the break of the river is that you can see various stars and colors, and they reflect off of the river you're traveling up. Hey, and Monty. it's this beautiful scene. Monty? Yeah? Um, while we are doing that, Eastgun has a new page out and is mapping this area's stars. Mm -hmm. The sleep on the raft is gentle. You feel like you're being rocked gently, and the sound of the flowing water is nice, with the rhythmic sound of the pole being moved left and right, kind of pushing you forward. You see on the coastline, wolves scatter into the woods and various other fauna and other animals kind of making their way through. You pass by the odd fishing village or lone woodcutter shack, but eventually the roaring waves begin to widen and soon you find yourself under a series of several large waterfalls. And you watch as Gifford kind of reaches over and grabs what appears to be what was probably once... Um, <laughs> Probably once a fishing hook meant for like large fish has been like melded together to make a natural anchor, which he throws into mm. the water and you can feel the raft kind of lock into place as he kind of stops and puts a hand on his hip and puts his ukulele, which you learned uh, away and kind of gestures to the waterfalls and goes, here you are, natural cistern. Wow. All right, gentlemen. Uh, hey, would you mind waiting around for a return trip? Yeah, you have to pay me though. So if you don't come back, uh, I'm still gonna have to bill you. I give him yes, a call. How much? Oh, all right. 
It was uh, two days of travel, uh, and that's each it's silver per, per person. So, so it's a gold. So a gold. A gold. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did All the right. math. <laughs> oh my god, you know math? I love the idea that Zito absolutely did the math, but Gaius just like guessed. Yeah, <laughs> you are. You, He's like, here's you, a goal. This seems fair. Mark, you are 100% correct. <laughs> Zito is not Gaius. Um, sorry, what's that? You, th you thought I was you thought I was mathematically illiterate acting. Guys, just reaches Accurate. into a bag. Eh, this shiny rock will do. Yeah, this will do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to find some music here. Ba -ba 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 this should work. This should work. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That works. Yeah, these waterfalls are massive, too, and the water is white and churning and is swirling violently. There's one very large waterfall, which you get the sense is probably the main river. And then there's a few, several other smaller ones, which seem to be the river breaking off into the other channel and various other smaller creeks. Hmm. Uh, Gifford kind of lays down. He has like a pillow of like, you know, his bag of stuff and kind of just plucks on his ukulele as you guys. He just, he just lets you do what you do. He asks no questions. Is not curious, like he's like, You're here to do stuff. I'm not asking any questions. You're paying me, and I'm doing it. He is right to the point, and he is Fuck just yeah. vibing out while you Good do man. what you need to do. I really like him. Sachet, you stay. I would say, yeah, uh, man, I don't care what they say about the drow. He's cool. Escan, you've had some chatterbox uh, rafters, you had some that are just incredibly inquisitive. This guy is very good. He asks no questions, he does what he's paid to do, and he just vibes while doing it. First, is first there goal. a tipping culture in this? country there is not no okay good to know yeah for first Do rule of taxiing a person who's local to the to the to the place you're getting a taxi from no conversation I'm trying to tip him he gets offended that he didn't do his job <laughs> <laughs> so you have the they white churning water it. you have the white churning water before you okay. and the knowledge that there's something hidden here uh hmm. it, we're looking for a face and a door yeah Someone behind the waterfall Behind Correct. the medium most waterfall. Uh, hey, wa Milo. Oi. You talked about water walk before. Isn't that the same thing that Winona did? Thinking back, thinking back, thinking back. I don't remember. Uh, above game. Did, sir? Yes. Oh. All right. Uh, uh, <laughs> did, did Winona do that? I remember flying a lot. Yeah, I she gave you water playing. walking too, and you guys went under the waterfall. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's uh, all right. Um, yeah, that's the same thing. Do uh, you think you could show me how to do that? I guess I could try. Uh, do we need to do that right now? Well, we have to get behind the waterfall, right? I, uh, I suppose so. Um. Do you want me to cast it then? I I mean, if everyone else is okay with it. I don't see any reason not to. Shrug. There, right, here we go. <laughs> right. I am all about my third level spells this session. I wasn't sure if you wanted it for nice. utility purposes or like a role play. I'm going to learn how this works thing. Yes. Sorry. Yes. All right. Answer is yes. Got it. Uh, everybody ha now has water walking for an hour. Oh, we all get it. As you all now, we don't have to swim. Yeah, as you all step out onto the water, similar to the other uh, uh, mage vault, there was a waterfall there. However, because there's so many different waterfalls churning out so many different flows of water, this is a very bumpy thing to stand on. It's like a constant earthquake. It's very hard to kind of stand. And the further towards the middle of this massive swirling whirlpool of water, the harder it is. You get the sense that maybe skirting around the edge is probably the smartest path ahead. Fair enough. However, as you all kind of begin to move and walk, uh, Gifford kind of raises up his like his straw hat to get a better look at you guys like walking on the water. You just hear him go, 
That's awesome, man. <laughs> and then he goes back to plucking his ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> I like I, that guy. Anyone who would like to roll a perception check. Oh, God. Yes, so Why not? Do it. I can't possibly roll another natural one. Fucking Why? Tall. You know what? Roll. I'm not Natural twenty. Oh there my god! There it is. Oh god, brain. Please. You don't see it, but East Can's doing the fucking Damn. like long handstand walk on the water <laughs> with well, ease. It, Just it doing cartwheels. It fell off wheels. my desk after it rolled, so it's a twenty ring. Uh, Otho and a, definitely Eastcan, as you guys kind of look at the different, um, the different waterfalls, you completely ignore the smallest ones, you completely ignore the biggest one, that only leaves, like, two spaces. However, Eastcan, you take a look at the notes that you were provided by the Obsidian Survey, and what you know about this area, and you're able to determine that it's probably the waterfall that's kind of furthest to the right. Uh, and as you guys kind of skirt between, you guys get wet, by the way, that is inevitable, there's just so Woo! much churning water. Okay um, eventually you find yourselves behind the waterfall and you can see what appears to be a natural shelf that is just so smooth after just years of erosion. Mm. And you can just faintly make out. It's incredibly hard to notice. You'd really have to be looking for it. The shape of a, like a male human face, eyes closed and like, it looks just like bumpy rock. But as you get closer, it's like natural curls of a beard. And where there would be a mouth, there's just a flat square of stone. Uh, and you can see inside of that is an even shallower square of stone with just a little bit of sprinkling of sand within it. The rest oh. of this has been eroded away. The details lost to time. Mm. Let's draw that funky symbol into the sand. All righty. As you draw the funky uh, name in the sand, interestingly enough, you just kind of scrape the inside. There's not a sand through the entire thing. And yet the door slides open. By the way, have all of these been in different languages? Well, there, now there was that, that you one, mention it. There was that one, one was, that was in Gnomish. Yes. What was the first one we went into? Was that Draconic? That was Draconic. Yeah. That was. And now this one is some mm. form of ancient primordial. What do you think about that, Kai? Uh, is that like just, a safety thing? Yeah, it could be a safety thing, but it could also just show how far reaching and how old the mage wars really were. Perhaps hmm. they were as diverse in terms of culture and language as we were. Would or it not be other. would it not be easy to assume that anyone could be a mage? I mean, anybody who puts the time in, yeah. As I you... would just think it inefficient to communicate in a bunch of different languages. Well, you also have to remember that most mages, or at least a lot of mages, can probably read this stuff, no problem. I'm going to take you guys to your map. Yes. Oh, my mag. You said we didn't have a map. Oh, no. Oh, boy, oh, boy. another cleansing oh, chamber. Oh, boy. We're in the panic oh, room again. Woo, woo. Uh, no. Getting their money's worth. <laughs> okay, get on the terminal. We need four shovels. <laughs> this is the oh best ten dollars Monty did, ever did, paid. Did, 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 There's a did, fucking did, loot did, bug in the corner. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm pretty sure we all know what comes next. Uh, I'm just money. gonna. He's just gonna pull lint or whatever he can find in his pockets and just kind of stuff it into his ears. Are there any pores in the walls? Exactly the same as the other two vaults. You see those similar holes, those great <sighs> sized holes up top. Oh, cool. Does this look any at all different? I like, mean, is it, is it cleaner? This is one it? is sealed. <laughs> it is the air in here is stagnant when you come in. <laughs> <laughs> Just get so Her tail! Ah! <laughs> oh god! Here we go! Click. I'm gonna laugh if this is actually a trap. <laughs> oh fuck, I'm the guy with the stop sign. <laughs> hey, the good news is this one's quieter. 
Yeah, I suppose so. It is a little bit quieter. Maybe muffled or no. something. Shit. <laughs> it's not playing on the on the on the wall fly. Uh, well, it's oh, playing no. for us. Oh, yeah. no. Well, oh, no. Start what a, over. Wow, what a yeah. shame. My wow. joke was so oh, well. unintentional, oh, no. but that was incredible. <laughs> God damn it. No. it the audio is not working. Hold on. Oh, no. Hold on. Technical issues. Oh, Refresh. Oh, 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 no. Yeah. oh, no. Are you... Oh, no, 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 my... Ow, my ears. <laughs> yeah, my ears. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> Sorry, one second. I gotta fix Please that. stand by for technical difficulties. You know, I could if you if you gave me ten minutes, I could have cast tech magic to see if we were gonna die. Audio jungle, audio jungle. <laughs> Listen, at this oh point, my god, nothing you know. nothing gained, right? <laughs> oh. There we go. It's working now. There we, there we go. go. Wow, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Insert previously recorded dialogue. All right, this time we're totally going to take out the Mako reactor. Yep. Didn't what I tell you the tail shoots lightning? I thought you were full of shit! I thought you were... <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were full of shit. <laughs> so what do you think's going oh, to be in this question, one? Question, do you guys have a light source, or you guys go ahead in with dark vision? I have uh, a light source, but I have I, dark vision. I have, I have a... I am a... I think. I am a light source, you fool. I was going to pick you up. Oh. <laughs> the holy Milo. Who's our light source? There we go. <laughs> okay. oh, there you go. Listen, I've only got one third level slots left, and I'm not blowing it on daylight. <laughs> no, light is perfect. No, no. Here, have have a torch that's not lit. Oh, oh I'm familiar with that. We've been in the opening there phase of this soundtrack for a while now. Usually what? it would... Usually it would change to the more frantic blaring by now. Are you sure it was that quick? It might be longer. It seemed like it should have gone off by now. It should have started increasing in frequency and intensity. And it just seems like it's the same droning. Maybe, maybe, primordial, maybe primordial vaults are actually lighter on uh, this blaring. Maybe. Or maybe, well, maybe it's because we're stuck. not trying to solve it. You think something's stuck? <laughs> I John, mean, I it not. was kind of eroded, so maybe this is just part of the... Yeah, no, maybe this is just broke. I, I mean, we kind of just have to wait it, it out, right? I suppose so. Wouldn't it be so. fucked up if the audio repeats itself? That'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I can always try hitting the button again. No, I, I think... Oh, oh, there, oh, oh, there, oh there, 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 there it goes, there it goes. <laughs> See, I told you, you were jumping the gun. No, I thought it came what the on fuck earlier. is a gun? What I don't is know, a it's gun? just an expression I've heard. It's a small cannon. Wait, is it like <laughs> a wand? I got that. Yeah, hey, we we're, have we're right sure here. this Hold is going to be exactly like the other one, right? No surprises? Right. Yeah. This oh, seems like so this is a gun. Hold up, Milo. <laughs> be sure to use 22 ammunition in me. I mean, what? <laughs> Wait, I only have 9mm. I hate this game. Wait, actually, is that creakier than usual? No, These guys don't no mess one. with me! I'm not! That almost sounds like ominous music, but I'm not sure. Loud noises! No, no this seems pretty like standard fare now. It just took is a it while. Is getting louder? Oh, well, it's yeah. too bad to do no, this that! Happened. This, this happened. I hope it ends to- oh. <clears throat> Why does As it have to dings? Ding? You hear, you feel a misting above you. However, unlike the me medicine smell, the smell of what comes out is stagnant and bacteria filled, like an old sponge that's been sitting in a sink for, for years. Ugh, I would like no. everyone to make me a constitution saving throw, please. Oh, Can man. I hold my breath? No. 13? Uh, I don't wanna. It's a natural one. Okay. Oh what my god! Fuck? Oh boy! Oh my god! Here we go. Cool. <laughs> nice. nice. Oh, well, boy. it's a seventeen for Eastgate. What's the worst that could happen? Thirteen for Milo. Okay. Wow. Plus seven in Constitution. Go fuck yeah, yourself. Yeah, it doesn't matter Zito. at all. Okay. All right. I get it. I'm just gonna stop rolling today. I think that's a smart play. I uh, I'm 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 glad I prepared lesser restoration. 
Uh, same. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm that glad that thing. I also prepared exploding runes. Oh my oh, god, that you're all you're all beautiful do. magic people. Please. <laughs> Otho does the thing that cats do whenever they smell something bad. And just go, ah. <laughs> 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 Give me one second. We've all contracted black lung. Oh no. That's incredibly offensive. You'll be fine. All right. As you guys are sprayed with the liquid, you kind of hack and cough and you feel like an itchiness <sighs> on your skin. You kind of shake it off and the door opens. Kai, as you look into the room, immediately what you see, floor, ceiling, roof, walls everywhere. Thousands upon thousands of these half inch vertical marks etched into the stone. Huh? Uh, what guys? do you see? <laughs> I, I, um, <laughs> there's a bunch of marks all over the walls. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like it either. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah, sure. Cool. Wark! Oh. I could use your help, buddy. Mark. You wanna you wanna go investigate? <laughs> Mark. Okay, cool. Go for could it. We, could we at least step out of this chamber? It's choking. <laughs> I'll go a step in. Here. Here. And oh, I'm gonna fuck. unleash the work. Alright, I'm assuming you're using your familiar link just to Correct. keep an eye through. Alright. And I'm, I'd say I'm... roll a stealth check for work. Oh boy. Uh, mm. Let me look. We use my... we use flying snake stats for him. I Correct. Believe. Yes. Yeah. Which I think I still have. Work that. confirmed for flying snake. Um, I know you were going to homebrew something, but that was what we were using in the interim. Yeah, uh, it's uh, basically the closest thing. Right. Uh, you said a stealth check. Yes. All right. Here we go. <laughs> uh, Release the work. That is work. an eight. Oof. Yeah. Ooh. I'd like to roll well in the night. That's all right. I'm getting him out of the system now. Um, How far do you send Wark? You have control I'm, of him, correct? Yes. I'm going to send Wark all the way to the edge. Okay. The edge of glory. Uh, this chamber appears to be containing rotted papers and obliterated furniture. Like either in like slabs of wood or just like turned into like mulch. Um, there's also right here, what appears to be like half the wall is just like a weird cleared off ledge. Um, and roll a perception check for work as well. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. That'll be that, which on this will be that. Oh, here we go. Wish me luck. Come on, work. 17. 17. You hear a like a sh 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 and a mumbled voice. 289,512, 289,513, 285,513, 14. Have I lost count? Have I lost count? Have I lost count? Pick out this section. Pick out this section. Can I tell from where? It seems to be coming further in. Further in, but like to the north or behind one of these massive closed doors? Uh, it seems to be coming from within this chamber, so not behind any doors. Like in the room that Work is staring into? You get the sense it's probably sharing the same room based on the voice. But I can't see anything through his eyes. You do not see anything, no. Is you this like see... a sheet in the middle of the room? What is this? It looks like it probably used to be a tapestry, and it's the colors are just faded. They're gone now. Okay. Um, cool. Can I have Wark roll a perception check to try to look in the direction of the sound? You have already rolled the perception check, ah, and that's unfortunately that was... what you get. You get the sense that Wark would have to travel further in to get a better look at things or listen to things. Uh, I will snap back to reality. Oh, there goes Kai to tell my compatriots. I think somebody's in the next room. Ready oh, the... weapon. The world could be there. Didn't they say they found a creature or something? Yeah, but this one's like mumbling to himself. I don't know if this is that creature. 
Kind of shocked he didn't. <laughs> well, above game. Kind of shocked he didn't hear the door open. So, uh, do you want me to send work in deeper, or do you want to make a move? Well, no time like the present. I won't go spelunking. Oh, but... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what if? What if they're not friendly? We can get the jump on them. Shouldn't I find out first? Okay. If you want to send Mark around the corner, send him around the corner then. Uh, I'm gonna go back into my trance and send work to this corner. Okay, that does not reveal more, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, I will go another two. One more Three. will probably reveal more. All right, stop All right. there. Roll yep. a stealth check, please. Hey, I believe in you, work. I believe in a thing called work. Da -da 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 -da. Work, 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 yeah. work. Let's go. That's all right. That's 11. That's average. 11. Okay. As work kind of turns the corner and peeks, it sees this creature. Oh. Pardon? Currently hunched over, appearing to be counting the scratches in the floor, you see a very live looking gargoyle. <gasps> oh, uh, uh, fuck. Is it voiced by Keith David? Uh, art by Denzel on DM, ah, by the way. That That's looks fucking really nice. cool. That's yeah. very good. 289,517. I'm going to have work just do one of these. Because um, <laughs> he, he saw where he was, so I would have that data. Uh, Kai, Kai, Kai will come back out of his trance. Okay, okay. I stand corrected. It was the thing. It's a gargoyle. And it's counting? A gargoyle? Yes. It's counting. Yes. Maybe it's intelligent that would be my guess the question is are we gonna take that chance what do, do we, we know that's... about gargoyles that's a great question monty what can i roll hmm. to know about gargoyles arcana what do Yay. i uh, let's roll I'm gonna do it that's a 16. that's yeah. a 13. C five 18. Four. Now, I will say above board, as written, gargoyles are naturally evil creatures. However, that is not the case for my gargoyles. Um, I, I figure that any creature can be anything. Yeah, we had a, yeah. We had a gargoyle. Dragons don't follow the, yeah. Yeah. Uh, generally, they tend to be servants to a very intelligent master. Uh, they also don't really hang out moving around. They It's very bizarre that this one is like out and about because usually they would just sit on a spot and just stay there. But yeah. this one is like out doing stuff, which is really weird. So um typically something like this wouldn't even be here like it it just be on a perch i guess you get the sense. sense through wark's eyes this is where he would probably usually <gasps> sit there's a pedestal right here probably meant for oh him. there's actually like a little loft spot for him but he's not there so he's so he was I guess supposed he's to be here aren't aren't they supposed to be in service of someone yeah typically that's why this is really really weird i see the pedestal he's normally on but he shouldn't just be wandering. Well, I mean, it, it, it sounds like he's trying to do a job, but maybe it's a job that, I don't know, no longer has to do. Do you want me to go check it out? You said they're counting? Yeah. I don't know if we want to interrupt them. Well, the, the problem is we're going to have to get into that room one way or another. They're going to know. Why don't we try just going and don't... Why not just interact with them? Okay. Well, you keep it down! You hear a shout suddenly ricochet through the hall. <laughs> oh, well, there's that. I'm just walking oh. in. Fuck it. <laughs> Kai's gonna follow Gaius. Leave mm. me, you useless hallucin hallucinations. Be gone! I'm trying to count the numbers. It's important. I have lost track. How many days have I missed? How long? I, I, I assure you, I assure you, we are not hallucinations. Also, oh, that's what team. all the hallucinations say. I also pick up wrong. one of the pieces of wood and I chuck it at his, the back of his head. As you hit him, there's like a moment where he freezes. And then slowly, like a creaking piece of furniture turns around and faces you. And his eyes dilate like double the size. I wave uh, at him. Uh, also, <laughs> can we determine if also, that's a shock or if that's like I'm about to jump at you? Also, uh, you will, 
Insight check. <laughs> cool, great, awesome. Oh, I love those. Also, you were on 289,529. 13 for the insight. <laughs> Very I want well to jump in on that. In, in I have a point. I have advantage on insight. <laughs> Holy shit, wait a minute. That's right. 18? Hang on, Never. hang on, hang on. Hang on. Insight. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. 13. Same as me. Hit him with a insight. Insight? <laughs> Hey, we're all in the same line. ballpark. 19. We all, all rolled high. All of you, uh, Reed, you are shocked how how very little can cause such sensory overwhelm, like uh, overwhelming sens sensory, like, uh, what's the overload? term? Sensory overload, sensory yeah. Overload, yeah. Your presence alone is just like, he's like, eyes dilating. He's like, huh. <laughs> like, I, I wish to balloon boy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, hey, he I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna have he, Lork get back on Kai's shoulder. You got it. He kind of goes into like a wide stance with his legs, and his arms kind of lurch forward like a T-Rex, and his head cocks. He's like, "Are you, are you real?" Yes. Yeah. Oh flesh. <laughs> Conversation, words exchanged, speaking. <laughs> and he like falls onto his side and just starts like <laughs> like he doesn't seem to cry and you don't know if he can and he just is like ah, 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 ah. words words that aren't mine they're mine but not made by others but by by me but not that I want them to be hello hi oh. <laughs> uh, uh, you should real. probably calm down. Oh, please don't keep me in here. Please let me out. I've been here for, for far too long. Please, 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 please. We can open the door for you, but we've got some questions. I love I love questions from from, from real people with real voices from real places. Yes, that is a world that's what... that's still alive. It has as people. I thought it was over. I thought I might be the last living thing ever. <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay. We're uh He like walks over and like grabs your face and kind of squishes <laughs> it. Hi. Uh -huh. Hi. Tangible Hi. flesh, Hi. bone and teeth and hair. Oh, uh -huh. ball. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I I haven't seen a person for five hundred and forty eight uh, uh, thousand nine hundred and seventy one days. That is a very long time and very, yeah. very specific. Uh, yeah, I just keep myself entertained with the marks on the walls and the time counts. Uh, what caused all those marks, anyway? Oh, that's me. Keeping time. Because if I don't, I feel like I might go crazy. Uh, <laughs> can, can I start the questioning? Is that... Uh, yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. Uh, how do you questions. feel about castles? I don't, I don't know what a castle is. Maybe I forgot. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Big, large stone building. Sometimes with really big pillars for lots of perching. He thousand yards stare onto the ground. So much stone. For thousands so, of years, stone. And yeah, but the else. sky is open. You get to fly in it. There's a sky? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, so the reason why I ask is after we're done here, if you wanted to, I don't know, maybe find a new place to perch, we might know some people that are, are looking for a, a, a watch gargoyle his mouth is agape and there's just saliva dripping from his mouth right now like an ex oh. an overly excited dog in the car should we take that <laughs> as a yes then anything but this no more of this a tomorrow with light and a sky all right all right it, oh it, we are so keeping him oh, hold on we Do you have a name uh, goyle what was goyle? That? one goyle. more time goyle, goyle. like gargoyle yeah. Oh, Gargoyle, Gargoyle. Thank you, Connor. <laughs> Two hundred years ago, I I named myself Garg and then changed it up. Uh, another year, I I named myself uh, Les, but then I changed that up. Yo, there was Goy for a bit, but uh, currently I'm Goyle. Is that it's what fun you want to take go things with? that makes life so exciting, wouldn't you say? Like, oh, it is a variety is the spice of life. I just go so wild when I change my name just for the heck of so it. Imagine so imagine what a change fun. of scenery will do for you. <laughs> Goyle, why are you in here? Huh. Well, I was created here, and my master put me here as a guardian, and then my master left, and his assistants left, and then nobody came back, 
And then I figured the war either killed everything or ended, and I've been here ever since. I sat around for a few hundred years, Whee! but then I started to kind of fall apart, and so I started moving around, because I thought that if I don't, I might just become rock, or just maybe just... I don't know what would have happened. I just need to start counting. It just felt like the right thing to do with all the all the real estate on this wall. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hang on a minute. You've you've been around since the Mage War. Do you know anything about it? I know some things. Forgotten some things. Tried to write some things down, but they faded with time and been consumed by the time. That of which I've scratched upon every surface here. I'm running out of real estate. It's very difficult, so I've had to double do, up. <sighs> do you remember your master's name, at least? Oh my god, so many questions, I could die. Uh, his name was Dantian. His name was Dantian. He was an Earth Ganassi, and he was a oh. master of clay and stone. And that makes sense with the Terran runes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. He spoke my, well, he spoke my language, and uh, I learned... You're running out of space? Language. Here. I give. I, I hand him my pen and <laughs> ink and give him a piece of paper. <laughs> what is this? He takes the pen, and like he, he very carefully like drags a talon over each each single part of the feather like you know how it each has like its own little uh -huh. tether and like he counts them and like savors uh -huh. every single touch as he does well, it well uh this is what we use to write so like what you're doing with the walls uh you can instead use liquid to do so i've seen this yes uh, masters that do it the ink every drop every tender drop in the shine upon the metal look at its delicate form look at that look i could look at it for days years even I could analyze it from every angle and put it to uh, my uh, I'm glad for you for having ends. things. <laughs> <laughs> Gwil, que another question, if I could? Uh, so many. In such a short amount of time. Yes. Uh, would you be willing to stay here while we kind of explored stuff and then on our way, because we have to go back out that way? He just... falls onto his stomach and grabs your leg with both arms. goes, please don't keep me in here. I can't handle it anymore. No, please. no, no. It's... Yeah, no, no. no. We, we're going to get you out. We're just, we wanted to, to look around and I, you can come with us if you want, but we just want to look around and then we're going to leave and you can totally come with us. I'd love that. Please, please. Yes. Although you probably should, your wings, they do work. Yes. Yeah, yeah, of course they do. How do you think I got up to the ceiling? <laughs> I, I could climb. Oh, looks up. Yeah, oh my god, the on ceiling the ceiling. Is oh no. As well. I see. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, so you so you want to come with us while we look around, yeah? Ho hold on. Goyle, I what were do... you guarding? The, this place. But, but it doesn't... Wh why? Because I was told to. And uh, because, like, I was made to do. I think it's been a long time. Mm. I don't want to attack you because, like, you're the first things I've seen in a long oh, time. I don't want to attack you either, buddy. You know, Pat him actually, on the shoulder. We, we really appreciate oh, it. Actually, one of my touch. best friends is also Stone. Look, Wark, say hi. Wark. Hello. His Small name is Wark. Creature. With a funny little face, He's, his neck like curls unnaturally and actually cocks like an owl. And Mark is like Mark, and then goes into your jacket. Oh, <laughs> like, uh, uh, Goyle. Yes. Would oh. you like? Would you like a hug? You're so small. You're such a small little man. I I reach out with to such, give him a hug. With such hair touching, so much touching. And you just hug him, and he just stands there, vibrating. His eyes, like, just dilated. Just oh, imagine oh, oh, Wark bastard. makes it this face. How tall is this creature? He's like six feet tall when he stands at full height. Oh my he, gosh! He, oh, he, three of us like are taller than him. Oh, that's he hunches. <laughs> he hunches a lot, though. He's also for a gargoyle, very skinny. You've never seen mm. one this skinny. How how chipped is he, by the by? Um, there's wear and tear, especially around the talons. Like, he seems like he's been scratching into the wall, so over time they've kind of, like, gone down. Oh. But oh, everything else is pretty okay. I think uh, I know what you want to do. Yeah. Uh, Goyle, if- I, I know you're- you're not flesh, but it, you look kind of banged up. Can I cast Mending on you? Would that do anything for you? Would that help? You are the nicest person I've ever met. <laughs> Oh my god, this man! Well, should I take that as a yes, then? I could stare into your glowing eyes for a thousand years. Oh god. <laughs> oh, as, wow. As, as, That's as, a hell of a pickup line. <laughs> as long as it doesn't hurt him, I would like to mend his broken, weary parts. Sure. Yeah, well enough. You, his talons come back to full strength. 
his teeth are also kind of charred down. He probably was just chewing. You look at the furniture and you realize, oh, it's been just chewed up out of oh, boredom. Oh, no! Yeah. <laughs> Otho, why don't we look around for traps? I, I'll do exactly what you want as long as you let me out of here, please. I will do anything you want. I, 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 do, you, I'll, do, I'll... You, do you still remember what's in here at all? No, no, I've only ever been in this chamber for uh, before and after the time I've been here uh, forever. Okay. Well, uh, hmm. And I've tried to replicate the figures on the doors, but it's, they're not made for me. And they, so they don't open. And so all that flooring, all that ceiling, all that wall is not meant for me. No scratching okay, on that. Well, no more uh, days we're, happen. We're, we're going to open one of these doors, so no need oh, to panic. Okay. Uh, and if you want to follow us through, you can absolutely do that. You give me so much freedom. Y yeah. Okay. Uh, Otho, do you want to try one of the doors? Huh? Sure. Let's just yeah. go from left to right. Yeah, that's probably smart. All right. Everybody's having a good time. He watches oh. you guys move like a fucking theater enthusiast watches the greatest <laughs> play ever like performed on Broadway. Like, he is like so entranced by you guys just doing mundane shit. Eastgun is keeping exactly one eye on this guy. You got it. I, no, Gaius is more interested in him than looking around right now. He's like, look, he's like staring him down, just like, huh. What is your name? I... Oh, oh, me? I'm Gaius. Gaius. Gaius, 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 Gaius. A name, I, a name. I haven't had a name in, in so long. A name. I just think when we go outside, you can have all the names you want. Oh my god, there's so many names. He kind of like falls, like slides off of his pedestal onto the ground again, just lying on his side, overwhelmed. <laughs> I pat, I pat him on the shoulder. So much touch, so many names, so many conversations, so much space. Ah, I'm happy sun, for you. A sky conversation. All right, Otho. I will scratch the clay symbol into the door. The door slides open easily. Stagnant, nose. stagnant air fills your nose as you see inside. This is sorry, I can find my map. The oh, ghost of me. Willie Nelson. No. Hey. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> You I'm see a what appears to be a glass-fronted metal shelf filled with various small boxes, like jewelry boxes of several different sizes. Hmm. Just carefully make his way into the room. You notice that where you like step in, like the scratches of the like the time this like the, the tally is just cut off, and you're like, and it's just perfectly it just pristine. pristine. Core. <laughs> yeah, it looks pristine. I, oh, wow. <laughs> I just realized something. Money, did you have to make all of these scratches by hand? Yeah, I had to do them all by hand. Wow. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. Props. Well, I mean, did so you, is did coils, you, Did so. you make a cross brush? No, I just, I did it all by hand. Oh, cool. All right, you just yeah. took a genie and went, went ham. Listen, all right. listen, listen I went to art pleasure. school. I know how no, to cross money, brush. Money, money, I'm not, I'm not saying <laughs> this is bad. I'm just like, oh, I, I'm just like, ah, I'm understanding the craft. I get yeah, this too. Yeah. So this isn't acting. This is just Monty letting that out right now. <laughs> yeah, Monty had to make this map and was like, fuck it. I'm letting I'm these be, people know what I went through. Seven I'm years of art school, guys, I've had Goyle on the mind since we started the campaign. I've had, I've had Goyle in the, in the back burner for a long time. I'm so happy you finally get to meet him. Nice. Amazing. Table. I absolutely love them. I adore incredible. This man. Uh, I'm going to check out these boxes. Are they, you said they're like jewelry boxes. Are they plainly visible or would I have to like open these glass cases in order to see what's they're, inside? They're kind of like a cabinet. You'd have to open the front glass case and reach in to grab a box, which seems to have like a latch okay. on the front. Is there like a lock on it? Uh, no, the cabinet is unlocked. Okay. Uh, I will just go to the first one I see, and then I will unlatch the latch, and I will open it up. And likewise with Kai, if there's more than one, I will get ready to make a Constitution save. Okay. One second, I just write something out real fast. Uh, no save. That. You're poisoned to death. <laughs> mm. Oh, all right, got it. <laughs> uh, go ahead for me, and for the heck of it, I have to make you roll kind of a weird number. Can you roll me a D13? Uh, 
Uh, yes. <laughs> slash okay. roll D13. I, I can't. Yeah. I can't do this on this dice. But yeah. I will do slash it. roll D thirteen on on roll twenty. That's oddly specific. There, there is no polyhedral oh, yeah. dice that could substitute a D thirteen. Also, again, yeah, I just want to. There I actually wanna... is on D thirteen. You could do it. Also, I want to shout out the artist again. This is the artist by Denzauer. They're an artist on DeviantArt. I actually bought the design from them, so they actually sell nice. a bunch so... of. They're really good at monster designs. They sell a lot of unique monster designs. So if the style looks yeah. very familiar. Mm -hmm. It's a very cool style. Uh, uh, all right, that was a six. six. Uh, as you grab one of the boxes and pop it open, inside is a perfectly shaped pyramid carved piece of jade, uh, jasper. Mm. Oh, nice. Appears to be some jewelry in here. Any any diamonds? I will continue to look. I'll j I'll just go throughout all these cabins. You know, uh, gentlemen, you're more than welcome to come in here uh, and yes. take a look for yourselves. Oh, uh, one thing, really quick. Uh, I, I go oil. Yes. Uh, would it be all right if we took the things that are in here? It's not, there hasn't been anyone here for. Um, he starts counting on his fingers. Uh, Five hundred and forty-eight thousand nine hundred and seventy-one days, plus however many years I was stagnant on my pedestal. So I don't think they're coming back. Okay, I just I just didn't want to like steal from anyone or hurt anyone's feelings. Uh, I forgot what stealing was. I forgot that was even a thing that can happen. <laughs> You're uh, fun, friend. I like you. I'm walking uh, away. <laughs> Also, this is not stealing. This is repurposing. As you walk away, guys, you hear him. You hear him like you feel him grip his head. He goes, "This is better than the time that earthquake happened." Oh, <laughs> oh, oh good. my god! <laughs> uh, should we investigate? Let's Monty, investigate. Uh, so now that we removed one from the the counter, uh, whoever would like to can roll a one d twelve. I will. Sure. I know those. Do you Do you mind if I do it? Yeah, go, go Zeno. Let me have it. Five. <laughs> Excellent. Five. Gaius, as you're kind of looking around, you also notice there's actually two cabinets. The one you're looking at right now is this cabinet, uh, which appears to be filled with these boxes. This cabinet is like sealed up and locked. You can't seem to get into oh, that one. Well, so let's do we'll let the, let's do the stone cabinet. However, on a five, uh, Gaius, as you're looking through stuff, you grab one of the more ornate and larger looking boxes, and inside you find a fist size yellow gem that seems to have like inside of the middle like roiling rocks on the inside hmm huh. are they actively moving yeah they're actively moving in the center of this diamond like this yellow diamond hmm Gaius like unfurls the chain from his uh, from his shoulder and puts down the box all right boys let's go just gently puts his his find inside of it. Uh, Milo, did you have to detect magic up or no? Uh, at this point, I'm definitely going to kick it up. Okay. Uh, kick it up. That yellow diamond is magical as fuck. Oh, it's a chaos oh. emerald. <laughs> uh, Gaius, there's a lot of magical properties coming from that uh, gem. Um, can I identify the school? Uh, it appears to be Conjuration. Oh, oh it's Conjuration! Uh, that's hot, eh? Definitely Question, would the, would the Identify spell give us any more details on it? It would, yes. It would 100% give you details. I would like to ritual cast Identify. Okay, you take another 10 minutes. Uh, that is a yellow elemental gem, which is used to summon an earth elemental. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh! During, during the 10 minutes of that cast... Uh, Eastgun is just going to be looking at Goyle. He's just staring at you, smiling, just taking in the fact that he's looking at another person. Like, he just seems to be relishing in it. But it's really creepy to you. Uh, so that stone can summon an earth elemental. Let me find you the details specifically for the item, and I will send that to you. Fuck yeah. Also, I'm making a list. What was what, was what the thing Otho found? It was just a jade egg. It was just uh, a, 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 pyramid. Yeah, a pyramid. It was a pyramid piece of jab, uh, yeah. jasper. Jasper, yes. Pure just, Jasper. Just spur. Pyramid. All right. Pyramid, sorry. Just spur. Yeah. Here is the item. I'll just send it to you, so you guys. Whoever wants to take and have this on their person. It is a yellow Zito elemental gem. So it's a yellow diamond. That's you, Zito. 
Fuck yeah, yeah dude. Write it down. This gem contains emotive elemental energy. When you use an action to break the gem, an elemental is summoned as if you had cast the conjure elemental spell, and the gem's magic is lost. The type of gem determines the elemental summon from the, the spell. So this that is, is a one. fifth level spell. Yep. Are are we leaving all of the our finds in the chest that guys brought? I I am going to do so. That's me. I think that's the smartest Not thing. Well, then he yeah. can carry it all. Okay. Milo, uh, you want to roll a d12? I would love to, but I would still note what you find on your sheet specifically because you can take it back. Ooh, that's a ten. Mm. You find a nice piece of a square obsidian. Ooh, nice. Mm -hmm. A couple more of those, and we can make another game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really, I really don't want. I don't want to fight a dragon this early. Hi, do you want to roll a, a d12? It's a sure. speed run. Am I rolling a d12? All right, here we go. It yeah. only took us two years to find the Ender Dragon. <laughs> One. Uh, One. As you go digging through, you find like a long box, and you open it up, and inside of it is a forked metal rod that looks very well made. Uh, can it, it, I ritual cast identify on it? Uh, I will say this. Milo looks at it. It is not magical in nature. I was about to say. However, uh, roll an Arcana check. Uh, all right. You get a uh, wand plus one. <laughs> oh, it's a plus one wand. Hmm. Uh, you said Arcana? It's, it's Arcana. The, plus wand. The legendary 22. fork of tuning. This is a spell component and a very expensive one at that. This is specifically oh. a fork metal rod for use with the plane shift spell. Oh! oh, my oh! oh! I'm keeping it. That Fuck. Jesus. Mm. I love how we're finding all of these things to use for later. I mean, you joke, but finding them now is good because oh, it is. we're going to need them I later. I got to say this, Gaijin, when you messaged me like, I want to find spell components, I looked at the camera and was like, <laughs> yeah. Bet. Yeah, I'm Bet. sure you do, buddy. Yeah. Are, are, there, are there any other cabinets to check? Oh, this cabinet's still filled. Like, it's still loaded with stuff. Oh. Okay, let's keep going. It's, surpri it's surprising that all of this was left behind. This is yeah, uh, take roll it all. Roll Otho, your turn. Unless you want to roll one, Mark, because you're outside. Nope. He's good. You can join them. Um, I know I could. Goyle is just Mark, roll out. it anyway, yeah. even though you're outside. Just roll it for me. Roll it. No. Roll it, nerd. Participate. I am. I'm role playing. Uh, yeah. I don't want right. to hear shit from you ever. Go oh, ahead, no. Connor. Oh, I'll roll a d11. Uh, no, D12. D12. Roll D12. Half. Oh, it's a D12 now. Yeah. D12. Importante. Eight. Ooh. Eight. Uh, you find inside of one of the more like mundane looking boxes a small block of granite. Doesn't Ooh. look very valuable, but it's like a perfect block These, of it. <laughs> there is some spell components in here, though. Want to roll uh, another Arcana, Kai? Yes, because I think I, I recognize that. I keep <laughs> Otho just looks at it and like looks uh, stares in the middle distance. I keep finding paperweights in these. Seven Tegan, <laughs> that is not a paperweight. What's with uh, the rocks? Must that be an is ant the, thing. That is the spell component for a wall of stone. Wall spell. of stone. Yep, that makes yeah. sense. I was just looking at that actually. Can you wow. cast wall of stone? Not yet. It's a paperweight. <laughs> yes. Guys, go ahead and roll a uh, uh, d12. Your d12. Yeah. Let me know well, if you guys find any. Forward. You find a chunk of watery gold amber that looks very expensive. Mm. Oh, Gaius is baby. finding all of the all of the good stuff. He is the most treasure hunter of us all. Is Milo. is magic? No, it is not magical. It just okay. looks very valuable. It's just fucking I, very expensive, Douglas. It's a huge chunk too. It's like the size of like an ostrich egg. Let's buy a grill, oh, Zito. Oh, oh. Well, we can definitely shore up the coffers of the kingdom with this. Do you want me to roll money? Yeah, go for it. Yeehaw. Twelve. Ooh. Oh. You guys have rolled you... a different number every okay. time, by the way. I I'm just gonna... want to point out. Ge Geologist, please leave me alone. I'm going to butcher this. You find a very nice chunk of Rodotrocyte. Rodotrocyte? How's it spelled? Yeah, just spell R -H it. R-H-O-D-O-C-H. R O S I T E. Rotocrosite, I think. Yeah, yeah Rotocrosite. Right. Rotocrosite. Okay, it's I've like never the, heard of it it's before. It's like the ruby color, right? Uh, is it magical in any way? No, it is not magical. It's just nice. It's just big money. Big, big money. I don't even know what. Like, like, yeah, what is it? It looks kind of like uncooked beef. <laughs> <laughs> One of them does. Oh, this, does. Is an old, this is an old <laughs> steak right here. That's this. 
it's, it's so hard. It's hard as a rock. Oh, like yeah. A, I see the picture candy. you're looking at. It does look like somebody it's, cut open ham and it was not cooked. It's like a pink uh, marble type yeah. stone. Guys, this is, this is fucking peppermint candy looking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It does sort of look like peppermint candy. Why do so many people want to eat rocks? Um, cause I, I don't <laughs> know, man. Why do people want to eat diehard dice? You tell me. Mineral. Ask the rock biter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove uh, Goyle's art here. No! Oh, his head's right there. His head is right there. He's Hello. Out of his rock. Again, Denzar. Check them out. Their art's really good. Anyway, uh, Very Kai, good is this a component of any kind? Uh, I mean, it could be i'm not familiar with that particular material let me check uh and the way can it's... i roll arcana yep. huh well look at my notes <laughs> oh arcana i thought you were talking arcana. <laughs> no R four this time <laughs> jesus Rolling no nah, the the amber this and the obsidian probably aren't they're more just like this, this seems like okay. a collection well in i thought some the ways. obsidian was uh wall of stone no the, no, 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 no that was the granite that was the granite, that was the granite? Okay. yeah a vastly in very different mineral. Yeah. Go ahead, Kai. Roll a d12. Let's go. Actually, it would make Maybe. sense that it would make sense that minerals that are more common would be more used as spell components. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Five. We've already rolled five. Five. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, you find inside of a very small, almost ring box, a circular moonstone. Oh. Ooh. Is it magic? It's not magical, but it looks okay. very nice. It is to me, Monty. Uh, we're we're, fi we're finding cash at this point. Yeah, we are. Uh, who's keeping yeah. track of these, by the way? Me. I'm writing down. I'm writing down who has what in my book. But yeah, I keep track of who has okay. what. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm putting all too. this shit in the box. <laughs> Otho, Otho, go ahead. Here I go. Here you go. D on your own again. <laughs> I love D12. My favorite band. Seven. Seven. Uh, you find something really interesting. It seems to be almost like a shoe box. But inside contains an iron blade and a bag of soil. Ooh. Oh, this is different. Uh, knowledge Arcana for I was you. Say, please. Uh, da, da. I assume mundane. I'm useful mundane. Uh, sometimes. That's a nine. You're not sure, but it's probably a spell component for something. Mine is also a nine. Well, you're not sure, but it's probably a spell component for something. Ah, uh, fuck it. Why not? Mm. I'm here. Let's I, go! I swear to God, brain blast time. I was with Kai and we both I was, had the same thought. I was so hoping it was going <laughs> to be more nine. What the fuck? Nine. Four <laughs> nine. Really hoping Are it was going to be nothing but nines. None of you know what this is for. Cool. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Might as well Bias. take it, though. Yes. Above game, I think I yes. know. Go for it. Oh, oh, we're still rolling. Oh, my God. I, I feel a little... Yeah. Rolling, uh, rolling. Eight. All right. Uh, you find in a similar box, but slightly different size, uh, bricks of lime. Uh, and next to it, you see water and earth in a bottle, like mixed together in a vial. So it's bricks of what? Bricks of lime, like little squares, like almost um, like... Uh, like, like little chunks of lime. Like, yeah, like little squares of lime, like a pill, almost. Ah. Also, and when you say water and uh, dirt mixed, do you mean, like, mud, or they're separated? Like earth and water, yeah, they're separated. So it's like water and oil. A bit, huh. yeah. Uh, anyone who wants to could roll a knowledge arcana. Uh-huh. Dead. Let's yeah, brain. Okay. I'm not there. 17. And rolling like garbage. 17. Guys. 11. I'm out uh, here. Milo and Kai, you recognize this as the components necessary to cast the flesh to stone spell. Oh, wow. I've heard of that one. Ooh. It's like bark skin, but with stone. Ooh, that sounds fun. Let's just make sure it's not permanent at this time. Uh -huh. well, I mean, uh, well, I mean, guys, like, looks at his shoulder. <laughs> There's, we're, we're obviously in an earth uh, spellcaster's domain. There's got to be diamonds around here somewhere. Well, think, there is right? that, there He's is searching. that lockbox right over there, guys. Uh, who's rolling line. next? Uh, Milo is. Oh boy. Uh, well, I'm yeah. ready to get them diamonds. <laughs> One. You find One. four ivory strips. Oh, wait. Mm. Oh. oh, I know what that's for. I remember this spell. <laughs> yep. Arcana check? Did it panic Arcana have this? Check. 
He did. Yeah, yeah. I did have this, yeah. yeah. I'm dumb! A bug no. game I know, but let's see if Kai knows. <laughs> Good news. No! Nope. Well, they, they look expensive. They're did you expensive. guys both just roll nat ones on yes, the Yes, yep. Deck. 13. Uh, Bosco yeah. knows it, though. You have no idea, Gaius. They just look like I nice roll. pieces of, of ivory. <laughs> Yep, none of you know what it's for, but it's Fucking idiot. It's... <laughs> uh, why did he have piano keys in here? <laughs> <laughs> They're so slim. All right, maybe he was roll. making some Who's sort next? of travel piano. Uh, I'll roll what is this a D12? piano for ants. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Seven. It's Seven. Like the piano from Big. Ah, <laughs> uh, you find like domino pieces of lime. Like, similar to the pills, but way bigger pieces. Roll an Arcana check. Alrighty. Hmm. That's a 19. Uh, these would be used for flesh to stone ah. as well. Cool. Ah. It's just larger amounts of it that you can see where the pieces have been chipped away. Probably I will so say the, j the jade is really good because I think there's, like, a gold component to that. So that's really mm. good. The last thing you find is... Uh, very cutely packed away a tiger's eye in a similar sort of ring box and then beyond that you scour the shelves and that seems to be the only i thing i here. am gonna toss the tiger eye to otho i'm gonna okay. hold it up in front of my eye hey look at that They're what do you think the same color does it match wasn't there uh, a, a what look? color is the tiger eye monty uh it's like an orange color orange and red uh right. no but it actually gives you a really cool case of heterochromia hmm wasn't there looked I right color? here, Gaius. Gaius baps the oh, box. Oh yeah, cabinet right there. Yeah. Probably Are you guys almost too. done in there? Yeah, we're almost, almost done. Almost. This guy Take has all the time you need. Like Twenty minutes. It's really interesting. It's so so. Listen to you talk with language and words to each other. <laughs> when was the last time you slept? I don't sleep. I don't need to. I don't need to eat either. I don't really need to do anything. That's why I've been here, and I can't really starve to death. Right. Oh my god! Man. Good. Oh, this guy's you. a hoot. Uh, Otho, this this case is locked. It has a lock in front of it and is clearly like sealed up. Hmm. Maybe if I scowled, the color would match more. <laughs> uh, uh, please don't. Right. Uh, let me take a crack at this. I will give you guidance. Oh wait, no, uh, I can't. I have to keep magic up. Never mind. I have to keep yeah. the tech magic up. Can, can oh, I right. is, guidance is concentration. Isn't is there a way it? to yeah. assist him with this? Indeed. Yeah, you can help. Cool. Then you'll at least have advantage. Great. Sleight of hand. Blessing be. Hey. Uh, whoop, not bad. Roll 18. it again though. Eighteen. Or a natural twenty. There Whoa. it is. Oh, I yeah. got your back, bro. She's an old lock, but she's easy to crack. And you open up the drawer after you pick the lock, and inside you see five scroll cases. Oh. Ooh. Okay, you have my attention. Also, the help action runs in the family. I'm listening. Do you grab one? Yes, please. Yeah. Um, I, right. As soon as there's scrolls, Kai is going to grab one. Are any of them magically booby-trapped? I have that magic detection up. Uh, you detect no magic from this inside of this chamber. Oh, okay. Just, no, Glyph go, go crazy. Warning. Kai diving in. <laughs> <laughs> Exploding rune. Kai, Kai just like jumps in like my fantastic Kai, box. Roll me, roll me a d10 for funsies. Oh, no. The final mm. d10. Four. Four. Uh, you grab one of the scroll cases and pop it open, and inside you find a scroll of Maximilian's Earthen Grasp. Ooh. Ooh. Is that like a unknown spell? No. Of the I, okay, I, if no. it's an unknown spell, I would say so. Oh, yeah. that's right. That's right. That my being bad. said, this is a mage vault. I've got my fingers crossed. All right, you said there's uh, five of them. Do I need to roll for each one? Monty, uh, I, think you, I think you scrolled up on roll 20 as well. Did I? Oh, yeah, just double check. Oh, you're, in, you're in combat rolls. I'm so oh. sorry. I'm so sorry, chat. That must have happened when I reset. That's all right. We're calling out the numbers. We're good. Yeah, there we go. My bad. My bad. I'm so sorry, um, chat. Fucking quality production over here at Unexpectables Twitch. Yeah. Dot whatever. We're so professional, Twitch guys. Dot what, whatever. whatever. We are the <laughs> most <laughs> professional. More like me. Says the like DM. DM. By the way, shout out to the YouTube <laughs> comments. We appreciate you. All right, go to roll a t d10 for me. All right. Kai. Nine. Nine. Ooh. 
this one, you see that one, and you see a gold inlay scroll case, and you go and reach inside and pop it open. And the first thing that falls out actually isn't a scroll, but a gold inlay vial containing a single pebble. And okay. the scroll appears to be of a spell you've never seen before. Oh! A found magic, a scroll of summon elemental. Yes! Whoa! Oh. Let's go! Nice. This mage vault is pretty pog Hey, that's, a Monty, that's the first you just... That is the first Tasha spell ever. Monty, yeah. were you just sitting there with the Grinch smile on your face? Yeah. In our pre yeah. 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 Like, like, I know. Before, before we started playing, like, they're just like, oh, we really want to find some Tasha spells. And we really want to find so spells. Just to clarify. And I'm just, like, looking at this, like, the camera, like, yeah. <laughs> so just to clarify, the spell pebble counts as the, the 400 gold piece pebble that I need, yeah? Yes, that gold okay. inlay vial and the pebble are the spell component to cast this okay, scroll. Okay, cool. So that, that's all inclusive. Yeah, this is a very handmade scroll. Oh my scroll. god. Oh, holy crap. All right, I'm going to roll it again. Work a lot I'm money. so happy I got a Tasha's, but there's one I really want, and I want it to be in here. That's a three. Three. Come on. To... Yeah. Uh, Reroll. Re oh. oh. I got excited. Three, three, four shares shares an item. So one, I, I'm gonna believe that one is good. You find a, you kind of find a more mundane looking scroll Damn case it. and pull out the scroll. You find a scroll of earth tremor. Okay, that's a good spell. Yeah, good. I was about to say this the is the one stuff I want to learn. Probably, yeah. I, honestly, as long as we have the gold, I can learn a lot of stuff. So just keep feeding me, see more. All right, that <laughs> is three of the five. So I have I don't a like those connotations. Roll me a d6. A d6. That's a six. Six. You kind of open up another one and pour it out, and you find a scroll of stone shape. Ooh, that's good. Mm. All righty. Okay, that's not a bad one. All right, one more. D6. Yep. yep. Three. We'll cut it in half. Uh, uh, you find another scroll, and inside, it's actually the last one. There's only one scroll left. There's only five. Mm -hmm. uh, you find a scroll of erupting earth. Oh, that's good. Ooh. All right, that's not bad. Oh, what do you mean that's not bad? It's not bad. Dude, we're in an earth mage's freaking. <laughs> this is like earth mage kingdom. Yeah, that's not bad. I hate kingdom. you. And I'm so far, hey, listen. So all far... I'm saying it's it's a third level spell, so it's not bad. I'm really excited shut... about the Tasha's though. That's yeah, so I will cool. Shut the chest and shuffle on out. Well, that was pr productive. I can't, I've never seen this one before. That was the first room, too. What is it? You guys aren't going to take that long for the rest of the rooms, are you? Absolutely, if we have to. Oh, hey, hey Goyle. Yes? Was Was there anything else in here that you know that was like you? Like a, a protectorate creature or anything uh, like that? They marched things in and out, yes. All right, we we just we, we'd like to find more friendly fellows like yourself. You know, not so much uh, angry. People in robes whose colors I've forgotten would come in and out and come out with things that were made by my master. He was very good at making things. I'll believe it. <laughs> Wait, they well, made oh, things in here? Of course. <laughs> well, of course they made you. That means they might have a station where they actually. Otho, open the next door. All right, calm down, everyone. We don't know what we're dealing with here. Someone Doors. tag with me, please. I don't want to watch this guy anymore. You Why are you watching him? him? Oh, I'll hang out with him. Thank you, guys. <laughs> oh, anyway, I was telling your friend, in the year 127,000, like, he's like just yammering off dates to you. And then this other time, I heard a noise. <laughs> it was insane. I thought about it for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, that sounds like me. This one time, I actually had a spider jump on my face, and I was scared of spiders for an entire year of my life. What's a spider? Oh, it's a little crab monster that has eight legs and shoots web from its butt. What's a Otho, crab? What's Otho, a butt? Otho, Otho hears spider and crab and, and what's a, and he sort of pauses for a moment as he's getting ready to draw on the sigil, and he goes, hmm. Everything what? to crab. <laughs> it's probably nothing. But hmm. Uh and then he'll <laughs> draw, draw he'll draw the sigil in. Door opens. There's a smell that immediately hits your nostrils of like comfortable dry earth. 
and you see that the walls are lined with wall to wall, like floor to ceiling shelves. <gasps> Me first. Oh, here we uh, go again. Oh. Careful, Kai. As you run inside, Kai, it appears to be filled with like ten foot by ten, like a uh, one foot by one foot by one foot um, blocks of dried clay. Hmm. Huh. Uh, any anything magical in the vicinity? No. Okay. Well, However, Kai, as you peek around the corner, your heart starts in your chest as you see a clay golem standing in the corner. And you're like, huh! but you notice that it's half finished. And you notice next to it on a stool is a book that's half open. Oh, shit. Oh, wait a oh. second. Wait a second. Kai's going to the book. We can't take all of this. So. <laughs> we have so many new friends. Where are you going? You're going into the wall there. Oh, Bucko. my bad. I'm to going the to the. Where's the book? To the left. Ah. Yeah, next to the clay golem. Oh, there's a wall there. Got it. I I ran into the wall. I was too excited. As you uh, go book. over and look at the book, it appears to be a manual of clay golems. Does it look like it's on the page that is at a similar detail to the construction of the golem in yes. front of me? Yes. Uh -huh. How much is left in the book to complete it? It looks about 10 days worth of work is left. Oh. However, uh, how many fifth level spells do you have, buddy, in your spell list? Uh, I have, well, I just wrote one on my spell card. So one. Technically, you have none because fifth you're not level? the right level. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, but I just added it to my spell card, so we're good. Yeah, no. <laughs> Guys, I just you, have a fucking brain blast. But you as you try and read this thing, your heart begins to hurt, and you get the sense if you continue to read this thing, it might actually physically hurt you. Oh. As uh, you are not a powerful enough spellcaster to I comprehend take the this book? book. Yeah, you snap it shut. Gonna... <sighs> and you have a specifically a manual of clay golems. I I have a um Brain blast idea. Hmm? Huh? What if we let the golem hold the key that makes it shrink? I We'd have to finish it. it. I oh. don't know if it works on non living objects. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's oh, true. Oh, you're right. It does. Yeah, okay, if it was completed, bad. it might work. My bad. You may continue. I apologize. Yeah. Um, so, all right. uh, do we need to do anything about this? I. Uh, about what? He kind of does the Sokka arms gesturing yeah. towards the Oh, golem. this thing! You know. And he's going to start walking <laughs> away. Was there... Okay, so... There we go. In the, in the, short the... for you, Mr. Citlali. Sorry. Great. In all the shelving, it was just more clay, right? Yeah, it's just mm -hmm. like these perfect square cubes of clay. Okay. Out of curiosity, Monty, just before leaving that room, uh, looking at the uh, jar of clay... Uh, is there anything I can glean from it about uh, maybe what type of earth it is or if it's from anything special? Um, there's anything there's, special about there's no it? jars. They're just bri like bricks of clay. They're just bricks. Okay. They're all the same size, too. It's almost like a Minecraft block. So, um, you would get the sense because of your background, you don't have to make a check here. This is really high quality clay. Like this is like... In the state that it's in right now, unfortunately, it's probably not going to be able to resuscitate it and use it like for like pottery purposes. But if you were to like mix it in with other clay, which each one of these bricks would probably like weigh a ton. Mm -hmm. um, but just looking at like just the side profile and like kind of chipping away at it, it is like the perfect. There's no imperfections in this clay. It is as pure as it can possibly. Well, we know be. where the vault is, so we could always oh, come on. back. When, yeah. when you say it would weigh a ton, do you mean that literally, or it's just very heavy? It's very heavy. Like, one uh, two foot by two foot by two foot cube weighs, or sorry, uh, one foot by one foot by one foot cube weighs, like, about 10 to 15 pounds. I had to Google how much clay weighs. That was one of my weird <laughs> yeah. Google searches. Oh, wow. And yeah. it was, it's heavier when it's wet, and it's yes. it's obviously lighter when it's dry, so it's it's very heavy. It's like carrying rocks, essentially. Hey, hey guys. Yeah. Um... You might want to take some of this clay. Is it valuable? Maybe not now, but it's very high quality. Um, put it in the chest. It, uh, I. I don't know if I can. But, one, uh, one, one second, we'll have a gripping conversation afterwards. I pick up two. I, I pick up one piece of clay 
Okay. Keep in mind, they fill up a lot of volume, so... That's my worry. I don't yeah. think... You said it's idea. one cubic foot? Yeah, it's one cubic foot. It's about 10 pounds. Yeah, so. th this may not be a smart idea. How much we How can, much can the chest can take hold? one or two. Probably like two of them at most. Yeah. And then no, you no, in total, how hand. much could the chest hold? Probably two. For him I'm to asking, carry the chest, what is like the a... maximum volume that the chest can Just hold? Give, give me a second. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. <sighs> Listen, you little loot goblins. It's not going anywhere. We can keep exploring. Uh, it yeah, holds yeah. 12 cubic feet or 300 pounds of gear. So yeah, you can get quite a feet. bit. Okay. Yeah, so you can fit so, quite a bit, but... Looking you know, looking at the chest and looking at how much dirt is there, Iskun's just going to say, maybe just one? Okay. We could always come back. There's nothing yeah, stopping actually, us from coming back and retrieving the clay at a later date. That was my thought. We have people that can maybe come and, and do that for us. You might remember that we're not the only ones who know it's here. Guys. We're the only ones who have the key, the access inside of it. At least for now. Guys, it's it's clay. Let's keep going. <laughs> I agree. There might be more scrolls. Oh, oh, you guys don't understand. <laughs> I will take one just for you, bud. I think it'll <laughs> prove worthwhile. All right. Guys, you want to know what's fucked up? Mm -hmm. I can put it in the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> go there for it, chief. There you go. <laughs> uh, Otho, can I see that uh, piece of paper? With the... Buckets, like I used to carry water. Now it's just dirt bucket. Here you are. That that uh, way. Kai, it's not Kai is gonna Kai is gonna trace the symbol into the door. Uh, I'm gonna move you out, guys, so I can move the door back. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Lock him in. <laughs> I'm going to go hang out with my new best friend. <laughs> hey. <laughs> the clay golem wakes up. I, I will up hand the paper right. back to now, Otho. I have a proposition for you guys. Hey, you yes. Yeah. End the session here as you guys open the door, or we can go a little longer, and you guys can find out what's behind this I can door. go a little longer. I can go a little longer. Yeah, that's fine. I can go longer. Uh, okay. um, Milo will I grab Kai's sleeve. I have to pee, but... <laughs> oh. We'll go use the restroom. That doesn't he's, solve the exhaustion. But he's <laughs> EP. He EP. I'm ill. Oh okay. yeah, then that's I, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And then, right. Then, I, then I vote we cut it. Yeah, let's right. cut it. Yeah, I'm Wait, so, so sorry to be the party. No, it's okay. Just... It's okay. No, I, you're sick. I probably should get some plateauing. Too. But I figured I'd just present the option if, in case you guys had the energy we appreciate to keep going it. or you were enthralled. It is appreciated. So as Kai, as you scrawl the primordial word for the, the primordial word for clay. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Uh, <laughs> the door begins to slide across. And that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Yay. Really? Thank you, guys. I'm Bye. sorry. Awesome. No, you're good. Take care of yourself, dude. I'm just as yeah, excited. No, no, no. I'm that's like, totally valid. Ooh. I. That's why I asked. Because like, if you guys were like, no, no, I'll stop. I'd be like, okay, no, right, no I'm going worries to, I'm going all. to post this into the Unexpectables. Like, I'm going to post this into the, uh, the <laughs> chat in game for next time. Because this is a lot. And I, I worry that my computer might fry because of the, how bad the wind is. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, put so it in the chat. I'm posting this in here. Woo! I wrote down my stuff because I have the scrolls. Well, this is everything. Oh, okay. Now all I have to do is get it home without it sinking into the ocean. Yeah. yeah. Without being attacked and ransacked. That was a good session, guys. That was amazing. That was fun. Dude. Yep. Uh, I got a ad for tacos. Mm. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Taco. Huh? Well, yeah. before we can enjoy our delicious tacos, we gotta get out of here and do our uh, do our outros. So let's go ahead and start with Gaijin Goomba. Where can they find you? What are you out to? Twitch that. Twi uh, Twitch.tv slash Gaiju Goob every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. is Central Time. Uh, we had our Quake uh, Community Frag Night for the first time. It was a hell of a lot of fun. You should come by. Uh, okay, so here's the thing Quake 2. It got a brand new remake uh 2023 last year just a few months ago the source code is amazingly good uh there's like 12 new weapons there's a whole bunch of like new single player campaigns but the multiplayer is absolute fire now um yeah i want to make it a very regular thing uh let's see aside from that i'm i'm working on a colossal update video that it's gonna sound clickbaity but trust me everything that i say in it will matter uh, greatly. A lot of this comes off the heels of MatPat 
uh, stepping down as his hosting role on the Theorist channels. There's a lot of things that I want to say. Uh, yeah, watch it. It's going to be very, very, very important. Um, aside from that, yeah, there's a lot of things going on that I can't talk about, but just, just know that it's there. Okay. Right on. Uh, up next, we've got Mark Allen Jr. Where can they find you? And what are you up to? You can find me on Twitter and Blue Sky at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Protect Gaming. Over on TikTok at Mark Allen Jr. VA. And follow my fat pirate cat bunny on Instagram at Chonk for Life. Um, just announced uh, on Monday, uh, I got to co direct with my friend Marissa Lenti on the uh, new English dub after 15 years of the uh, Kenichi the Mightiest Disciple OVAs. They were never dubbed into English. We recollected as much of the original cast as we possibly could, and uh, they all came back. It was kind of awesome. Um, so uh, follow Discotech Media. They will be giving more updates, and also Sound Cadence Studios will be giving more updates about that, uh, hopefully soon, but definitely later in the year on when you can grab a copy of that. Um, also, uh, if you're watching new anime this season, uh, a handy little one just came out today. It's called Metallic Rouge, and you can hear me featured in the first episode. It's an all original anime. There's no manga or anything, so we're all in confusion about what it's about. But if you like cyberpunk stuff, uh, concerns about uh, human versus uh, cyborg relations, that kind of stuff... Uh, it's pretty nifty and pretty neat, and I'm excited to be a part of it. Um, I will be opening, hopefully tomorrow, uh, commissions for music. Uh, so if you're looking for stuff for your uh, tabletop RPGs, or if you have an OC that you want a theme song for, uh, those are the kinds of things that I will be opening commissions for. Uh, so after a good night's sleep, I'll be putting all that stuff up on my Twitter and Blue Sky uh, please check it out because I really can't work uh, for the next two weeks. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of music and a lot of streaming, hopefully. Um, hey, hey, Mark. What's up? About car theme. We'll talk. Mm. We'll talk. Fuck yeah. Uh, that's going to be it for me. I want to go sleep forever. Right on. Do you want to go ahead and just... Get, yeah, get just to my, I just might need to. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Guys. Get, bro. Get out of no, here. Okay. Thanks, for, thanks for sticking around and making yeah, it Yeah, definitely. Bye, chat. I love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye. 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 Who the hell was that? Some nerd. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Zito, where can they find you? What are you up to? Oh, twitch.tv slash Zito. Uh, I am reliving my childhood of playing msq on city of heroes with my friends who also want to relive the past and goddamn i couldn't have found a fucking better game to make myself happy at the start of this month i am excited i this is going to be a continuation thing uh i have made far more characters than i should have but the game allows you to make up to a thousand of them so why the fuck not uh also it may give me gumption to actually i just while while we were at, wrapping up, I purchased a the newest third edition handbook of mutants and masterminds, and I'm thinking about a one shot. So you know, you know, it might be a thing. Also, speaking of uh, sooner rather than later on my Patreon, uh, it's going to be for free. I am making a fake mon deck and also translating it to other uh, tabletop uh, Pokemon games. So if you want like. 175 more little funky critters to throw into your Pokemon games. Hey, there might be that in the future. And also, Mirror Mods coming out. And if I get a playtest for that, I'm absolutely going to be fucking streaming a game of that, which is uh, made by the made by a fella who used to uh, work for Hit Point Press is making a Pokemon adjacent tabletop game that has an emphasis on fake mod creation. So I'm fucking super excited to check out any play test material he wants to throw my way. Uh, beyond that, uh, you can catch me doing artwork. Uh, you can catch me doing commissions. You can catch me doing uh, carts on Sunday. And yeah, like I said, join my Patreon. You'll get free fake mon. I made a Mr. Mime variant that literally turns into a 
it turns into a prospector that no one it's like <laughs> mouse hold he just shows up no one knows how yeah. he got there he's it's it's mr pine he just shows up he shows up if you're in the mines and you level up your mr mine you say that monty wait till you see the actual monster you find in the mines oh god dude dude i have 175 of these things i made i put the work in god that's so cool At least 175 or more to see to be a fake mon master is his destiny. I mean, it's fun. <laughs> and up next, we've got Edward Bosco. Where can they find you? And what are you up to? You can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and right here on twitch.tv slash Ed Bosco. Go check out In Your Sights. It's my new song available on Spotify and iTunes and wherever you get your stuff from. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Monty Glue, where can they find you and what are you up to? Oh my gosh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at Blue Sky Monty Glue and uh, twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue and YouTube at Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow should hopefully be some more Dungeons in the Mad Mage. Um, and then Friday, I won't be streaming, unfortunately, uh, but it's for a good reason. It's because it's Darcy's birthday. We're going to get hot pot and hang out. Uh, and then uh, should be back, hopefully just streaming on Monday. Sorry, the Monday streams have kind of been all over the place. It's just a hard, kind of hard day, depending on how the rest of the week goes. Uh, but I upload my VODs to YouTube, so if you want to check those out, definitely, definitely check those out. Jazz hands. This is a really fun session. I'm, I was really happy with this, so. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I suppose that just leaves me. Mm. They can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Blue Sky, and Tumblr at Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, uh, Thursdays as well, Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, you already know what it is, uh, except for Friday, which is going to be my birthday stream. I'm not sure when that's going to be happening. Maybe later in the evening. Uh, but oh yeah. shit, you and my wife have the same birthday. Damn. It's a doodly doo. It is a doodly doo. A ding dong, ding dong, doodly doo. Um, but yes. Um, check out my DMs Guild. I release fifth edition homebrew content, including the uh, Fulgur Mancer's Spellbook, uh, released a couple of months ago. And I'm currently working on the Photo Mancer's Spellbook. Um, uh, been making up a bunch of interesting light spells so be on the lookout for that sometime in the future uh other than that i think that's it for me this episode was brought to you in part by die hard dice that's right Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head a note over to dieharddice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order. Uh, as well, check out our merch store. We've got all sorts of different designs. You can get as stickers, t-shirts, other apparel, other uh, accessories. You can get dice it Dice trays. Yeah, well, mm. Dice I'm trays, sure. dice. Uh, I'm not sure. Mugs. You can get, I'm not sure you can get dice trays on our merch store. Oh, sorry, uh, I zoned out. I'm really like <laughs> feeling the. Ah, <laughs> get dice talking. trays. What? I can tell. Uh, oh my god, but you can get you can get work shirts. Workout, That's baby. True. Workout. One of those. People have been posting their workout, uh, their workout fits with the workout shirt. It's been a lot of fun. Um. Yes, I, we also couldn't do this week in, week out without uh, bits and subs from our wonderful community here. Where do we leave off? We left off with Sway Girl talking about In My Sights. Sway Girl. Um, right. Uh, after that would be uh, Karanitar. Thank you for the 45 bits. Milo cooked up some swews. <laughs> wow. He, he put the shush in the <laughs> uh But he forgot the spouse. Uh having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> uh 
Uh, Kaze3173, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, Mark, uh, saw you worked on Kenichi. It was one of my favorite anime growing up. Nice job, and congrats. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure he appreciates you, it. Yes, we, we will relay your message. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 45 bits. Also, Bosco, be thankful Gaijin didn't use the Create Pop Tart spell. <laughs> uh, that'd be gross. Why would you ever do that? Uh, oh. Timbator, thank you for the 42 months. Nearly forgot my prime sub. I'll do that. Uh, Callum Draws, thank you for the 10 bits. I can't believe Milo learned how to make MREs. Uh oh. I mean, by definition, it is a meal. Just the sad, eat. like, oh. Does it does it come with nicotine? Gaijin is shutting my down. Hurt? Uh. <laughs> Keep it going. Uh. Sintel Cry, thank you for the three hundred bits. Hey Bosco, love the new song. We'll be seeing you all. Will we be seeing you at all in any upcoming Has Been Hotel? And a happy early B day to Connor. All, all I can tell you is stay tuned. You said the thing. I said stay tuned. Bob, 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 think of the 100 bits. Milo's create food spell is the gray paste from that episode of SpongeBob where Mr. Krabs sold the Krusty Krab. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> okay then. <laughs> what? Good lord. We've lost guys, uh, everybody. I'm just gonna eat my sludge in the corner. Goodbye. You need to pocket that voice. That's a good voice. <laughs> I, I'm told I should be a voice actor. You should. Well, you are, but you should do more. Uh, Bubba Bob, thank you for the 100 bits. Milo's create food. Oh, wait, I just read that one. Uh, Come on, Connor. <laughs> Oliver Bingo, thank you for the 25 bits. Being from the UK, I'm curious to try Arby's with all I've heard about it. <laughs> I don't, I would die. I know, just, I've, you don't. I've since, I've since remembered Arby's. Uh, that's that's the roast beef sandwich place, yes. right? Uh -huh. Yes, yes it is. It's the home of the meat mountain. It's, they have the meat. Uh, dude, listen. It, it, it's okay. Okay, no, thank it, you, welcome back. Um, okay. it's, it's subpar, I'm, don't, don't, don't give it extra credit. It's fucking subpar. Yeah, I, I I was thinking of Wendy's and with the Baconator, which is incorrect. <laughs> Wendy's is I will I will die on that hill. Wendy's is I enjoy Wendy's. Baconators are fucking awesome. Oh uh, yeah, roast roast beef sandwich. Uh, I, I'll I'll eat it if it's put in front of me, but it's not my first choice. Um, Ace Bounty, thank you for the forty-five bits. Sorry, I I was just thinking of a different roast beef sandwich restaurant, but the name is escaping me. It had, a lion, it had a lion mascot. Oh, oh, fuck. Uh... <sighs> I'm trying to boy. <laughs> uh... Anyway, Ace Bounty, think of the 45 bits. If you're going to eat fast food, at least enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Man, see, here's the thing. I don't actually care that people are in character or not. It's like it's bad food. I'm just I'm playing it up at this point. I don't even care. <laughs> Is it Lion's Choice? That's it. That's that's the one. Lion's I Choice. only know because I googled it because I think it's a Missouri thing. Missouri, uh, St. Louis, and KC. Yeah, that is yeah. that is. I, I did not know that off the top of my head. You're ever in Missouri and you want a good roast beef sandwich? Go to Lion's Choice. I mean. Bet. Uh, right. Um, Zenlita, think of the 10 bits. In the other's defense, Milo used a third level spell slot to make 45 pounds of shit on a shingle. Hey! Wow. <laughs> I like shit on a shingle. Yeah, what the fuck? It's not what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Is that a euphemism? Listen. <laughs> Mortalia, thank you for the 45 months. Uh, hey, hi, hello. Alpha Rabbit, thank you for the 16 months. How's it going, everybody? I decided on my resolution. I'm quitting smoking for good. I just threw all my cigarettes away. Oh, good that's job. such a good resolution, yeah, man. Congratulations. Yeah. Let's go. No it, smoking. Dude, dude not good only is on it you. me 
like incredible for your health. They'll also be give you so much money to buy Dude, they're better so expensive. things. Mm -hmm. Imagine yeah. all the things you'll be able Plus, to taste. I, I will not speak for all 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 people, but generally, if you smoke, a lot of people don't want to date you. Like I, and most people I know, like if they're they're like looking to date somebody, they're like if smoking is completely something they just don't want. And I'm like, dang, it's a lot of people. Imagine all the things you'll be able to taste. Oh god, yeah, that too. Uh, Emerald Bandit, thank you for the 100 bits. I swear Monty makes the best NPCs. <laughs> I love Goyle. I, I, I had this, amazing. I saw the art by Denzauer, and I'm like, I have this great idea. I'm like, I love... Because they don't have to eat, sleep, or breathe. Like, they're completely, mm -hmm. like, they don't die of starvation. And it's just, like, one of the things I thought about, like, was like, oh, maybe I could have, like, a gargoyle. But then the amount of time he's been there, I'm like, there's no way any creature would not just go absolutely, like, insane in that environment, no matter what they are. So I love Goyle. He's a uh, he's a special child. That's yeah. <laughs> Here comes a special boy. You 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 better be ready when you take him outside for him to fucking just shut down. By the way, because yeah. I don't know how I, he's gonna act. Dude, he's he's gonna, gonna literally fucking like like MP4 style explode. <laughs> One. Yeah, we explosion. might actually kill him. Um. Right. Where? Nope, that's not it. There we go. Uh. Oh, well, bingo. Thank you for the 25 bits episode title suggestion. Mend these broken wings. Oh, yeah, we need an episode title. Mm. Centaur Cry. Thank you as well for the 50 bits episode title suggestion. Goyle's Tale. Aw. The Alexandrian. Thank you for the 26 uh, party raid. I Volt just had a five, really... five, one. I just had a title idea. Huh? Goyle Scouts. Oh, <laughs> I do like oh, that. I do really like good. that. Volk551, five, five, thank you for the 100 bits episode title, The Midas Touch. Midas Touch. Episode title, Nobody Likes Milo's Food. Hyperstatic15, thank you for the 145 bits. Ended up having a small watch party for Monkey Wrench. We all love the show oh, and your boy Scratch. Yeah. Hey. Oh, By you. the way, I have to say, Monkey Wrench got such a notoriety that it came up on panels at ALA. Oh, shit. Somebody, no. somebody legitimately shouted out both you, Zito, and you, Connor, as like up and coming voice actors that people don't know about yet that they will soon. Oh, oh, yeah. oh man. Yeah. Were you in Monkey Wrench, Connor? No, I'm, I was just saying. <laughs> Oh, I was okay. just saying they both got shot at us. Not yet, but it's coming. <laughs> I yo, actually, uh, yo, you're I, Scratch. <laughs> I, I auditioned oh for Tynine, Actually, I, I didn't submit it though. I kind of regret it. But, you should have. You know. Well, you, you said my, my mic quality wasn't the greatest. That's the only. That was the only thing that would have held you back. Oh, you I could did have audition something. actually. Yeah. Now maybe maybe in the future at some point. I don't know. I, sh I should do a, a demo. Yes, yes, we should. Yeah. You definitely should. You have clips you can pull from already. Yeah. <sighs> uh, Centaur Cry, I think it'll be 50 bits. Episode title, Nulling Stones. Ooh, I like that too. Nulling Stones? Uh, Is that what it's like? Nulling Stones. I, I'm a Rolling Stones fan, so. Uh, Mr. Snacks, thank you for the 31 months. Thunder! <laughs> Thunder! <laughs> The more Thank drunk you. you sound, the better it sounds. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Think of the 100 bits title suggestion. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. F <laughs> Fuck you. Dice, ru Dice ruler. <laughs> Thank you for the four bits. Uh, Kai, we're going to see father again. <laughs> Kai wearing, wearing his screw you dad and shirt and flipping him off. Why do you think he wanted to go to the mage vault? Uh, Zen Leo, thank you for the, uh, ooh, thank you for the 100 bits episode title, Rock Salt. Oh, I like that. Hmm. It doesn't give away uh, things. That's the only reason why. Ah. Uh, Emerald Bandit, thank you for the 100 bits title suggestion, The Lonely Rock. <laughs> Stellar Coyote, thank you for the 100 bits. Question for Monty, what would happen if Zobi met Wark? <laughs> oh, man. A very one-sided he conversation. Oh no, they would they would like get into some world shattering plots, I feel like. 
They both have a cup of coffee. Wark be nodding. Mm -hmm. The problem Wark. would be Zobi would interpret Wark's Wark's as yes, no matter what. It's like true. Yeah, but was. to be fair, Zobi hears what he wants to hear. Exactly. So that's, you know, gives him more reason not to, exactly. you know. Wark. I, I don't mean to be that guy, but I, I would like to crash soon. I got two giant yeah, meetings yeah. tomorrow. Oh. I literally uh, am running on two hours of sleep, so I also would not. Oh my god, what is wrong? I pulled an all nighter! <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, oh where did we leave off? Uh, Callum draws, thank you for the 50 bits. Episode title suggestion Rocky Relationships. Emerald Bandit, thank you for the five bits. Zeno, do, do you post your VODs anywhere? Um. Mm. I, I imagine they're talking about for uh, your streams. Yeah, I guess, I guess for my streams, uh, they're on my Twitch. When I when Twitch, I, Twitch has this weird thing where it likes to fight me over, uh, like it, it likes to fight over the fact that when I'm done streaming, it's like, okay, now are you sure you want to put a vod up of it? And the answer is always yes. But now I have to actively and manually turn them on. And by the time I'm done streaming, I'm going to bed, so I just forget. So the best place to find any VODs that I'm doing are just to go on my Twitch and hope that I remember to turn them on or just yell at me on my Discord. Hmm. That's weird. Uh, Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 50 bits. Monty, as someone who has autism, I really love how you made Goyle's personality. I mean, listen, he appreciates the finer things in life because that's literally all he has. <laughs> so. Mm. Uh, <laughs> like Dabuya, thank you for the 100 bits title suggestion, Unappreciated Toil. Uh, mm. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 100 bits. Milo, I bet Goyle would appreciate the 3D printed food. Oh my god. Oh, Callum <laughs> Joss, thank you for the 40 bits. Goyle is our new little guy. He sure is. He's our Bubba Bob. Guy, dude. Kai adopted him immediately. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 100 bits. Maybe get the name of that artist again. Denzauer. D N Z O U R, I believe. They have uh, adoptables. Um, specifically, they sell designs, and I bought Goyle uh, from them a while ago, actually. I was trying to look up to see how long ago I actually got him. Uh, let I can find that out. But All very right. good art. In the meantime. And yeah, I recommend their their stuff. Interesting style. Mega waffles. Thank you for the one, uh, the ten bits. Can't w wait to catch them. Uh, wait, I can't wait for the catch to hit them next session. October fifth, two years ago. Oh wow! Oh my gosh! Yeah, I've had Goyle for a while. <laughs> uh, Callum draws. Thank you for the forty bits. Uh, are all these food critics Milo's Joker moment? <laughs> this is his origin story. No, this oh is the God. birth of Olam. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Here he comes. This, this is Milo's candid event. <laughs> He's growing a goatee. Uh, Dice Ruler, thank you for the four bits. Monkey Wrench was... Wait. Uh, might have read that one already. Do it again. Monkey I like it. <laughs> Mon Monkey Wrench was awesome. Thank you for telling me about it. I loved it. Hey, oh, I've heard hey, of it. Hey, thank you. Reaper you Harlequin. Enjoy. Reaper Harlequin, thank you for the 50 bits my new year's resolution is to learn a new language relearn the violin and uh resume my voice acting classes let's go nice. hell yeah go for it. all of that uh bubba bob thank you for the 100 bits title suggestion carved in stone mm. Mm. that's pretty good <laughs> and finally uh goss 21 asking the big questions monty what was the mage war <laughs> Yeah. Ah, I see. Anyway, who should we raid? Let yeah. me refer to my book that is literally dedicated to just uh, mage war information. I have a few <laughs> folks, but if anyone else has anything I, more... I have a suggestion. A stinky dragon is streaming. Draco is streaming, yeah. yeah. I haven't very seen Draco stinky, stream Very in stinky, years. very Boulder's Gate 3, but is streaming. Do they devour that game. Um... Mm -hmm. They only have three viewers, too, so... Yeah, yeah go yeah. for it. Let's do it. <laughs> Raid one, it. Darko Draco Darko one. Draco one. Oh, you did it. Okay. I was... Yeah. yeah. Stinky! I 
You'll have to press the button to make them go. All right, take care, everybody. Great, Bye. Great message. Stinky. It's Great stinky. We're going stinky. With stinky. Stinky. All right, take care, everybody. We'll see you on Saturday for Gateway. Bye. Yeah. Bye, folks. Yeah.